This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. You can't see me yet. You'll see me a little bit later when we have the uh, citizens panel. Uh, And uh, that'll be about 25 minutes from right now. But uh, we go from now until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. It is about uh, five minutes after uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. So wherever you are in the world, you can accommodate for uh, uh, what time it is where you are and whether we're live or not. Uh, the rest of the day are uh, repeats of all our programs in an endless wheel, and uh, we hope you enjoy those too. But in the meantime, as it always is on a, uh, on, a, on, a, on a Thursday, we have ourselves a little friend to drop by. Uh, this person just called Skype the 99 cent store of communication. Of communication. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Skype. He broke again. <laughs> Yeah, we tried to call. We tried to call. <laughs> cheap Steven. communication. I've heard of free speech, but I've never heard of cheap speech. We we tried to call. Mike Sinatra, tribute to the Who. Pictures of Jilly made my life so cuckoo jack. I'm swinging today. Are you? You're really you're in your swinging mood, huh? I'm swinging mood. I got my smoking jacket on. I got a martini in my hand. I'm ready yeah. to go. I this, ladies bullshit, and gentlemen, but, uh, I, I should introduce you. You know, I mean, that's considered propers to introduce you. One more. Never mind the bollocks. Here's Frank Sinatra. I am an anti Christ Jack. I'm a <laughs> cuckoo and a kiss. I want to destroy those passerby. Whoa. Okay. I, I'm, I'm swung out. I'm done. You're making fun of my hero. I love Frankie, baby. I wouldn't. It's uh, it's done with there, love and respect. There was nobody. Otherwise, I'd be. Yeah, there was no, end up in the bay. <laughs> there was nobody cooler than Frank Sinatra. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's why. If that's what the cats and chicks say. You think on John Gotti in April, and you are floating in the bay in May. If you had, beautiful. Let me ask you this question, though. If you had Frank Sinatra's life, okay. Would you be mm-hmm. happy or unhappy? Uh, it depends if uh, Ava Gardner was giving me any, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love that broad. <laughs> then I ended up in the sack with, uh, what's her name, with uh, Mia Farrow. You know, as Ava said, I always knew Frank would end up in the sack with a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ava said that, not me, baby. Don't whack me. Yeah. I love Frank. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I remember when he was dating Mary Lou Conchetta Smegmetti, a wonderful gal. Yeah, well, you know, you, know, you, you know what Frank said once? He, Mia Farrow said to him, um, I've never dated anybody uh, over the age of 24. He said, neither have I. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's why the marriage lasted about 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it didn't last very long. In fact, no, no, about as long as Ernest Borgnine and Ethel Merwin. <laughs> How he drunk did, were they? He did a lousy job breaking up with that marriage, though. He like oh really? He, he, he like sent somebody to tell her. I mean, he didn't even confront her and tell her it was over. Uh, that's because she had a mean right hook, boy. I sent my friend there and gave him ten bucks to take the punch. Yeah, yeah. What'd you like? What do you want to do tonight, Marty? I'm going to buy a couple of reefers from Frank Sutton and see Charlie Parker on 52nd Street. I'll still be lonely, but I won't give a shit. Marty, the alternate ending. You know something? I think that maybe we are now referencing ourselves beyond the audience. I know. I'm doing references from before I was born. It's over. It's over. It was before you were born, Marty, wasn't it? Yeah, about the year before, 54. I came along at the end of 55. Well, you see that, but that's what I always, you know, when I was a kid and when I was growing up, I always referenced stuff that was before I was born. I was more interested in what went on before I was born than what was happening then. Mm-hmm. And um, and I think a lot of it had to do with my father being in show business and yeah, him kind of making sure. a lot of references and me picking up on them. But, you know, I mean, I just, I always, uh, I always like to, to think about the past, you know, and and yep, know what too. know what went on then, because yep. may, maybe it was a form of escape because maybe it wasn't too terribly good here, you know. So I, yeah, uh, well, probably even back then people were saying, "Oh, I missed the good old days. I missed 1910." But uh, 
You know, yeah. I, I, I'm fascinated with like the 50s, the pre Beatles rock and roll world. So uh, it, I was barely alive then. So that fascinates me, that whole era. Yeah. So and, uh, along with the Old West, well, too. Well, is it wrong of me? Is it an old fuddy duddy of me to be bothered by people who don't know about the past and don't care about uh-huh. the past? You know that's right. Those who those who are not familiar with the past will be condemned to worship the Kardashians for the rest of their lives. Exactly. I don't know what that meant, but exactly. uh, yeah, these kids will be growing up, and one day they will be sitting there. You don't know, Talon. We had the Kardashians. We had Bieber. He <laughs> could dance. <laughs> <laughs> what boy? Does... That boy. He could sunwalk. It's better than moonwalking. The... Forget a hot foot. In the, at the risk of alienating every young person who might anticipate listening to this, which I doubt there are any of them, okay, um, uh, will you tell me what Justin Bieber actually does for a living? He uh, gets into trouble because his agents tell him, hey, be a bad boy, do this, piss in that bucket, boy, then everyone will because really like here's it. here's the thing. And he sings, he's like, he's like a Fabian, except I think he can sing a little better. Yeah, but he's I mean, manufactured, he's a manufacturer, Keen Idol, they've been making him since the 50s. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, he may be uh, uh, made up, you know. Yeah. But um, the fact of the matter is that, that when, uh, when at least when I was growing up, I could tell you all the music that this person had done, you know? Uh, yeah. I mean, I could tell you everything the Rolling Stones had done or the Beatles had done. Uh, or sure. You know, and, and today, actually, I got into Frank Sinatra later in life, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. As did I, yeah. Yeah. Well, when we were younger, you don't want to hear your parents' music, so you're right. like, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear, but I I knew, want to hear Spooky Tooth. But I knew but, every uh, song older. and so on. And then I hear, I watched like TMZ. My wife likes to watch TMZ every day. And I, mm-hmm. I watch it too. It's inter- it's fun, you know. <laughs> but uh, uh, they have these people who they're doing the stories on, and we're going, who the fuck is that? Exactly. I couldn't name you one celebrity today. I could walk right into him. I would know that was Kevin Scott. And then, from, and then, the guy. And then, but, tell me the song they did, or tell me the rap thing they did. Tell me, just let me know. <laughs> you know, I know, just fill me That's in. Right, I know. Uh, and I, you know, I can't name. Can you name a single Justin Bieber song? There's one called Boyfriend, and I'm ashamed that I know that. And that's it, Jack. That's <laughs> I don't it. know any of them. I don't yeah. want to know any. I do want to know the one I know. Uh, I mean, uh, it, the, uh, who, who are some of the names of the people that I heard on, on TMZ that I'm trying to think of now? Uh, 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 Fetty Wap. I don't know what that is. Fetty Wap. You get to the Korean restaurant. I think his name is Fetty Wap. Tell, anyway. I can't, I don't even know what he does for a living, let alone anything he might have performed. Uh-huh. You know, and <laughs> all of a sudden these people out of a clear blue sky become known. And they, what are they known for? I don't know, gold braces and... Uh, <laughs> a grill and uh, making the gang sign and doing, and doing nothing. Oh, you know the term grill. Very good. Yeah, oh, hey, I'm hip, man. I know what's going on. Hell, I'm today. Yeah. Boy. I'm with the kids. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm deaf and fab and hep and all that other crap. All those other teenage pimply hyperboles. You know, and I I feel guilty because we did watch the Kardashians and we do still do kind of watch them. But uh, uh-huh. I mean, every week that I'd watch it, I would go, "Why are we watching this? This is about people who are getting rich by saying they are." Yep, they're, you know, they're famous for being famous. I mean, like let's Canada, face Cole it. Smith and some others. Trump got to be president because he said uh-huh. he was rich, but he really wasn't. Yeah, you know, not by mm-hmm. not by anybody else's comparisons. When you when you put him in the, if you had a billionaire get together, he'd be staying in the guest cabin. You know, oh sure, yeah, like Zuckerberg and all those other, and Oprah and all those other people in the other in the big room. Yeah, I mean, he and he may not even have as much money as he says he has. You know, he claims ten million. Forbes says three billion. Excuse me, billion, uh, three billion. billion, and he may not even have that. You know, yeah. I think the reason he wants Rich. to give you and I a tax break is so that he can get l- to pay less taxes. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Could be rich on paper, but that doesn't mean anything. But I just want to know what these people do for a living. You know, show me their supposed. Am I sounding like <laughs> an old man now? Show me their talent. And I'll be happy. Show me the talent. I'll be happy. Show me what do they do. 
I mean, look at the Kardashians. Let's take them as an example. The Kardashians. I try not to, but with that big ass of hers, it's hard not to look. Yeah, yeah. The Kardashians have no discernible talent. No No, discernible talent. They have one talent, however, at least Kim does, and that is the ability to get publicity. Sure. You know, and by the virtue of that publicity and by the virtue of her celebrity, able to sell product that she creates. But there, but what the, what does she do? She doesn't sing. She doesn't dance. You know, nope. she Don't doesn't do put she, she doesn't put seltz, she doesn't put seltzer down her pants. You know, she doesn't do <laughs> she doesn't do any do of that. Cartwheel. Yep, doesn't do a thing, and she's making billions. Yeah. So I I want to know, and you know she's married to uh, uh, what's his name um, uh, Kanye Kanye, Kanye Kanye West Kanye West, and I you know I kind of like Kanye. He, I, I believe it or not, I like him because he's so fucking grim. Uh, <laughs> but I like, but in spite of the fact I like him, I couldn't name one song he did, I, or nope. rap rap. Forget about song rap. I can't yeah, name one. I can't name one. How did this guy become famous, and for what? <laughs> for marrying a Kardashian, I guess he was famous before that. He just had uh, he just lucked onto the right manager and the right publicity people. Let's make this guy no. famous for God knows what. I I do think he does do clothing lines and things like that. I do think he's a very talented guy in a lot of fields. Uh, but the main field that supposedly put him on the map, I don't know a fucking thing he did. <laughs> me, me too. You know, I can tell you me where to too. go. I can tell you where to go buy his clothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. yeah, if you want, you want to pass a drag down you know, halfway down your ass, sure. So maybe we're we're at that point in time, and where there was a, uh, I think it was Jack Parr years ago. Jack Parr. Nobody knows who we're talking about now. Yeah, now yeah, you're really going back. <laughs> but Jack Parr, who said. Someday, the biggest act in show business will a guy be a guy who plays Carnegie Hall and will come out on stage and start a lawnmower. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. We're just an almost inch away. From, in, another month. in fact, if I had fuck you money, I would buy out Carnegie Hall, <laughs> invite everybody I know, and then get some people to pay to get in as well and go on stage and start a lawnmower. There you go. You know, That's HBO material. And then and, <laughs> the and, lawnmower special. And tell all the people I invited who are in on the whole thing to get up and applaud mm-hmm. when it's over with. <laughs> you know. Sounds like it's happening to me. I'm there. Gee, I don't know. I was standing outside Carnegie Hall. They went in. They were there for like three minutes, and they came out. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they all looked happy, though. But if I had fu- uh, that's what that's what I would do if I had fuck you money right now I would rent out Carnegie Hall cuz you can <laughs> that's how you get to play Carnegie Hall you rent it you know You rent it that's right you can do anything you want so In fact I played you got Car- the dough you can do anything you want I played Carnegie Hall You uh, played Carnegie Hall uh, Well kind of yeah there was a thing called a Marvel Comics uh uh Night of Marvel Comics or whatever this was years and years ago And I knew Stan Lee and Stan asked me if I would uh if I would come on stage and read a part, I think I was Doctor Doom. Okay, ah, Doctor Doom, definitely. Yeah, yeah well, you see, I, <laughs> I but love I, Doom. I love Stan because Stan used to come on my show and read Spider Man to the kids, right? Uh, and yeah. and I love Stan, but quite frankly, if you had to name any of his comics, I probably couldn't tell you outside of Spider Man. Okay, uh-huh. so when I was, they said you're going to play Doctor Doom. I said, okay, who's Doctor Doom? I don't know who Doctor Doom is. You know, oh, you got to know who Doctor yeah. Doom is. And then it was God. a night of people reading from the comic books, right? And I was, <laughs> I was Doctor Doom, and so I played yeah. Carnegie Hall. And I remember being backstage and getting on a phone. And in those days, you didn't have a cell phone. You actually had to. No. Pitch, uh, I think I had to call Collect because uh, my mother uh, to my mother. <laughs> remember, Fred? Remember, Fred? To my mother, and I said, "Mom, I'm just calling you. Guess where I am?" And she says, "Where?" And I said, "I am backstage at Carnegie Hall, and I'm about to go on." She said, "You're playing yeah. Carnegie Hall." She was so proud of me that I had played Carnegie yeah. Hall. But the thing about <laughs> Carnegie Hall is anybody can play. Florence Foster Jenkins played Carnegie Hall for Christ's sake, and she couldn't even <laughs> sing. 
All you have to do is <laughs> is buy the place, you know, for the yep. night. And it's yours. Rent that out, baby. Rent that out. The world is yours. The yeah. night is yours. So that's uh, – but anyway, so, I, yeah, I played Carnegie Hall with uh, uh, the – what do you call it? The uh, uh, Marvel Comics thing. The Marvel Comics Review. Yeah. Um, but also, there's was, was one other thing I did for, with Stan. Oh, yeah, Stan invited me, and I hosted it, to the Comic Book uh, Awards. And they had a little award show. Well, you know, today when you do an award like the Comic Book Awards, they'd put it on television and it would be in a big place and they would, you know, do it that way. In those days, it was just a dinner with all these comic book people who came by uh-huh. for the awards and I, and I hosted it. So I remember that now fervently. Mm-hmm. And I, that was another thing I was asked by Stan to do. So, And I bet, if I, I bet if I called Stan Lee up today, he wouldn't remember who the fuck I was. <laughs> who is this? Who, who, who gave me this number? Those of, masters of DC of, Comics? Of, of course, at his age, <laughs> at his age, he probably doesn't know who anybody is. Okay, so yeah. I, you know. But every now and then, I've thought about getting a hold of Stan Lee. It's, hey, Stan, would you come do the show and see if Stan still remembered me? Give him a buzz. If he doesn't remember, you, that's the way it is. If he does, you, know, you never know what can happen. Nobody remembers me, Stephen. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Huh? You do. Those I remember. Those of us who went nowhere remember you fondly. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the leader of the people who went nowhere. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm your I'm your leader. I'm your idol. <laughs> you try to you try to like Tom Salieri is, is this patron saint of mediocrity. You try to you are the patron saint of us who haven't got gone anywhere. You try to model yourself after me, which is I think very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> um, I want to be like him. No pressure. <laughs> but anyway, so what you got to do these days is come up with no talent and uh, and capitalize on it, and uh, you, you'll be a big deal. Yeah, if only I was young and I sucked. Oh, my life could be so different. I mean, who else do you wonder what do they do for a living? There are a lot of pe- mm-hmm. people out there like that. Yeah, I watched. Well, all part of Shasha Gabor, she got famous for being famous, and she really didn't do anything. Actually, she did. She did. Brilliant acting in the Queen of Outer Space. No, she was also she was in Orson Welles' film. Was she? I did not. She was in Touch of Evil. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she was in uh, Moulin Rouge, I believe. Okay, well, I guess she was an actress then. Yeah, she was an actress. You know, Mm -hmm. and uh, her sister, of course, was famous. She was on Green Acres. Green Acres, Ava, lovely Ava Gabor. And I can't remember was it, there was a there was a third sister or was it the mother's name Magda? I think there was a third sister named Magda, and she was mute from what I remember. She didn't speak much. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. But well, she uh, was the, I she was she, I guess she, Joshua spoke enough for everybody. She was a Harpo of the Gabor sisters. <laughs> exactly, she was Harpo Gabor. Harpo Gabor. Not the most ridiculous thing I ever heard, darling. <laughs> uh, 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 Oh man, man! Oh man! Uh, what a world! What a world! Ja 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 ja! She Poor just Jaja. she just went, you know, and she was old. She just went. She outlived her daughter, Francesca. Poor Francesca, the love child of Jaja ja and Dan Blocker. <laughs> was it you? I was telling this to, or no? I think maybe it was maybe it was Ruben or it was Bubs. I can't remember. But they're uh, all the same. It, it, they're we all, all blend in everywhere. They're all my my. <laughs> clusterfuck of, uh, of of comics who are on the rise. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I was mentioning the other day that I, I the, the guy who who gave uh, Charles Van Doren all the questions on uh, on 21, he didn't give him any answers. He just told him what the questions were going to be. Oh, what the questions were. <laughs> um, died. So I looked uh-huh. up Charles Van Doren to see when he died, and he didn't. He's 91. He Holy crap, he's still around. And Stemple, uh, the guy he beat on 21, mm-hmm. is a year younger. 90, he's still alive, too. Oh, still alive. And so's his wife. Wow. So uh, somebody said somewhere, as I was reading all about this, that... Uh, Gee, you know, uh, maybe there was something in that booth that gave you everlasting life. You know? <laughs> really? A fountain of youth or something. The Charles Van Doren, 91. You know. uh, I'm still here, you bastards. I'll and, tell you about and, cheating. And, and, oh, I invented it. And by the way, any day now, Kirk Douglas is going to become 100. 
He already is 100. Is he already 100? He's already 100. Yeah. I'm 100. Kill me. Yeah. I can't feel anything below my eyebrows. <laughs> Just fucking put one in my head. Yeah, well. I don't have a lust for life anymore. Well, the, Kill uh, me. No, God bless him. 100 years old. Well, 100 years old, and I think the, the, uh, the, the lesson to be learned about eternal youth there is you've got to rape Natalie Wood. So oh, that, <laughs> that'll do it. You know that story. Only I knew. You know that story, don't you? I heard about it, but you might want to clue in the listeners. Yeah, he uh, it, it mm-hmm. has been accused uh, and was accused uh, of of raping uh, Natalie Wood. That she came by for a part because he was a producer as well as an actor <laughs> in those days, God. and he jumped on her. And uh, she went out of there just uh, – she, she talked about it for years, but she didn't say who it was with. She said it was a Hollywood a big wig. A oh, big, my God. Big I, Hollywood I, I, star. Was she still a teenager then? Or was and she, to this I day, they it. don't really say Kirk Douglas did it, but what do I care? Come sue me, Kirk. I got nothing. You yeah. know. Uh, and, and, Where do my lawyers get their hands on you? It's never been denied. Let me put it that way. Uh-huh. It's never wow. been denied. And uh, that's all. Yeah. So, uh, you know, whenever I see Kirk Douglas, I go, great actor, great personality, you know, a great life, really. But, gee, he yeah. raped Natalie Wood, and I love Natalie Wood. That. Well, be, that's like. Oh, I wonder, yeah. That's like, oh, yeah, when she died, that's, I was pissed off. That just made no sense. That's like raping my sister or something, and I don't have a sister. <laughs> raping yeah. the girl next door. Oh, raping my God. the girl next door, yeah. Really? She blinked those doe like eyes at me and I jumped her bones. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Well, I do a lot. A misdemeanor. It was a simpler time. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. Now, oh, well, you have to live with it. But, uh, you know, we could. Well, we doesn't, doesn't probably remember it now. But you say, what does Kirk Douglas do for a living? He was a great actor. He's an amazing actor. But, 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 okay, now, you know, Kanye West, what does he do for a living? Well, he uh, does nothing. You know, he tell, says Taylor Swift sucks. I don't know. That's about yeah. it. Well, there is footage of him trying to sing Bohemian Rhapsody and not getting one note right. He's like the worst auditioner you saw for American Idol. And this guy is a multimillionaire. Well, those guys, <laughs> he, can't he, 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 he can't do anything. He, he rapped. He didn't sing. You know. He rapped, yeah. Okay, here's 10 million, 20 million, 30 million. And then, million, million, and then million. there are those people in, uh, those people in that crowd. Who I do know, their discernible talent. I mean, Lady Gaga has the goods. You know? Yeah, she can sing. You know, she sang with Tony Bennett. When she sang with Tony Bennett, she kept right up with him. You yeah. know, she she's. Hey, good. let me tell you, that bitch was a little freaky, but boy, she could carry it too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what was her name? Amy Winehouse was just yeah, wonderful. Yeah, she was good. She was, you know, uh, messed up a bit. She reminded me of Billie Holiday. You know, she yeah. was she was really really great. So you know, there yeah. are there are a lot of these people today out there who do have discernible talent. And uh, mm-hmm. but you know what happens? They get wrapped up like Gaga. I had to convince my wife for a long time that Gaga was good because she went, oh, why she wears all those meat dresses and things like that? Why does she <laughs> Why does she have to do that? And I said, because it's like the guy who who is. Uh, was uh, driving a uh, a wagon with a mule in front of it, and uh, they said, uh, "Well, how do you how do you get this mule to just work so well here and draw the cart?" He says, "You treat him with love and kindness," and um, all of a sudden the mule stops. So he gets out of the uh, wagon, grabs a two by four, and hits the mule right between the eyes. <laughs> gets on the wagon, the mule starts going, and he said, I thought you said you treat him with love and kindness. He says, yeah, but first you got to get their attention. Well, that's <laughs> that's pretty much well, what Lady Gaga did. She got true. everybody's attention, and once she got their attention, you know, she didn't want to sit around for the rest of her life wearing, you know, uh, a, a dress made out of pancakes or something like that. God, yeah. she didn't do that one. I should get money for that idea. Uh, yeah, but you know, she uh, she really uh, she really is good, and she is the real deal. And uh, uh, don't let any of that showbiz that you know that hitting you between the eyes with a two by four get to you. 
you know. Oh, right, it's a gimmick. Everybody's got gimmicks. Jimi Hendrix used to set his guitar on fire, and the Who used to smash all their instruments until people started listening. Okay, we don't have to do that anymore. Now listen to what we yeah. do. And, of course, we all know Peter Townsend has gone deaf, so now they're changing the name of the group from the Who to the What? The what? Actually, the who is now the two. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, let's do this again next week, okay? I'm I'm with you, Big Daddy. You call me anytime. I'll be here for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Pearl. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. Uh, I hope I wasn't blasting you out there. My levels were so high on that uh, little promo. But, uh, yeah, hi. Welcome, and uh, I'll show me now. There we go. There's me. See me with the glasses, with the granny glasses, doing the granny glasses bit? Okay, let me get rid of that. Let me bring up uh, Skype here. Uh, let me uh, uh, turn it on so that it can uh, be uh, 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 ready to go. Uh, if you want to call us and you've done this before, you know how to do it. The lines are now open. Um, of course, it takes about a minute for this to go out and say the lines are now open for people to know that the lines are now open. Anyway, uh, so give us a call. Uh, Skype, use Skype, and our Skype ID is GabNet Live. GabNet Live, G-A-B-N-E-T-L-I-V-E. GabNet, G-A-B-N-E-T-L-I-V-E. That's our ID that you call us on. And if you want to call us using the telephone, let me see here. Let me, uh, let me go. I always have to look at it. I've told you this before. I'm kind of dyslexic. 347-352-0079. See, I even had to look back at it to make sure I was saying it right. All that stuff's on our gabnet.net page, so you can, uh, I don't have to tell you that. You know, you can know that. Hey, look over there. Look, where are you now? You, you're in a different place, Scott. You're well lit. You're... It's it, are you in the uh, in the dining room or something? Well, kind of. It, it is the dining room in the house, but we have a pool table. Pool table in the dining room. Yeah. But I got a ping pong table on it right now, and I'm I'm working on a jigsaw puzzle. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it oh well. As the show goes on, keep working on the jigsaw oh, yeah, puzzle. Oh yeah, it's a real bitch, man. It's it's it's, it's, it's tough, and I've been doing it all day, and yeah, it's uh, kind of fun. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wait a minute, we're. Wait a minute. My back. It, 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 it keeps trying to go on, and then it doesn't. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. And Rob Alfano is calling, and Scott is now whirling around a lot. Stop it! And right, st right. Stop it! Well, and start it again. Back. Hey, I've been I've been realized I've been pretty boring lately, so I decided to drink all day today, and and uh, so I'll be a little more verbose. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, so if I get too verbose, just give me the old Doug heave ho or whatever. No, no, I you could never get the Doug heave ho. Uh, turn off your camera again. Again? Okay. Turn okay, it me... off and then turn it on. Let's see what happens. If anything happens. Huh. Now, I then... was able to see him before you did. Yeah. Uh, well. Oh, there you are. Okay. Right, now right. we got you. Okay, because we want to got to see you do this crossword puzzle. That's, that's really or, odd or this pu jigsaw puzzle rather. What? That's that's really odd because I saw him before. Then you said turn the camera off and on. Now you see him and I see Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> and It'll welcome, come around, baby. welcome to the wonderful world of Skype. And if I if I were to get a hold of them, which is impossible to do, they would say, "Well, you're not using the latest version." And I'm going to say, "You know why? Because it doesn't work." It doesn't work. You know, so. anyway, you know, what the hell? Something is going rough looking at Trump's face today, though. Well, we'll get to that. in a We have plenty of time for that. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I'm thinking of getting a new camera for this thing. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, Logitech has come out with a new camera that's a 4K camera for doing Skype and things like that. And I'm thinking of maybe using, going out and buying, they're about 200 bucks, but I'm thinking of buying one to see how good it really looks. You know, it, if, it, if it makes my part of the show look better, then we've got a real professional looking uh, thing going here, you know? So, I don't know. Just thinking about it, just thinking about Spend it. Spend that money. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm, I, I should wait until they get all the bugs out of it, but no. You know me. I get the can't waits. Yes, Jeff. You can't take it with you. Well, I'm trying. You know, it, it, I'm Jeff. always lo looking at the other guys. Yeah. I can always see them much better than you. Really? Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Maybe between New York and Connecticut, there's a, 
Uh, bad cables. Yeah, what, what, kind of, what kind of picture am I putting out with here? No, I'm putting out with a pretty good picture. Can you see me okay, Rob? Do I look okay? Yeah. Yeah. Tonight you do. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's all a matter of, um, of, of uh, all I care about is what we get here, okay, because that's what the public's going to see. You know, basically mm -hmm. we're doing the show for them. But it's funny because some of you guys see somebody else kind of pixelated, and I don't see them that way, you know, and it's, <laughs> so it's really strange. You're, yeah, you're like I don't see, I don't see uh, Scott at all. You don't see Scott at all? I would, nope. don't, don't turn it on and off, Scott. You're doing and I can do it. Both. I'm going to do it. No, don't uh, do it. Oh, God. Now it'll take forever to <laughs> pop in. Yeah, see, now it's spinning like crazy. No. Now I see the spinning, at least. There's Scott. No, I don't see Scott, see? It, uh, so I, I don't see Scott. What the hell is that all about? Well, you you, you shouldn't <laughs> have talked terrible. him into turning it off. Now we got rid of him. Renee was spinning, but she's not anymore. I see Renee. Yeah. I see I, everybody I, now. I hear well, we got to get okay. Scott because we got to watch him do the uh, the uh, the jigsaw puzzle. Let me shut it off again. Try it again. I'll, maybe I'll call out or I'll log off and come back in. Yeah, call back and they'll fuck somebody else's picture up. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, I thought he looked really good. Oh, there we go. You're fine now. Now don't oh, turn now it I off. See, uh, now I still I, I see you. Good. So everybody sees. Okay. So everybody oh. sees you. And Phil, oh, now Phil, Phil's in. Now Phil, knock me out again. Phil Meyer has just joined us. So uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Scott, you're still there. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, but you're not yet, Phil. You know, oh, we don't I, to toggle. Yeah, toggle your camera. Not that we want to see it particularly, but, no, no. you know. Uh, and Somebody and Rob, of course, is always, I, I the day that you, you were in Are another we room here? and we could actually see you, Rob, but you're in such a lowly lit room that you're kind of a specter. No, I'm yeah. not really in a lowly lit room. I think I don't know how to adjust this camera on this Mac. Oh, you, I, I think you just can. go. I think you go into. Uh, you just go into Skype, and you can adjust. Uh, uh, what do you call it? brightness and things like that in the camera? I'm in Skype. Huh? Yeah. But anyway, uh, Scott, are we going to a castle? And, and by the way, by the way, Renee, did you put gauze on your lens? Puzzle. I had tape on my lens. Oh, because now it's got to kind of, it would no, it, it's kind of what work. it's kind of what they did to Lucille Ball in her last years. Uh, <laughs> did you, there would be this hazy mask following her wherever she went, you know. Um, but uh, no, it makes you look great, Renee. You know, that's soft. Actually, very soft. Well, I, uh, wedding photographers do that. I have a camera. Uh, do you know what what I used to use when I was photographing naked women and stuff for the lens? No. I Roll. would I would take my finger and I would rub it on my nose right here, and then mm -hmm. I would put it on the lens, and you got a nice diffusion from. Where else would you put your finger? I do it under the table and yeah. sometimes under a chair. Yeah, but <laughs> it, but anyway, so uh uh, but. Okay, better? The, yeah, but a girlfriend always said because I have a camera here where I can actually turn on a filter in the camera that will take a face and soften it it's an Ooh, older like older it's an older camera i have it's a more professional camera than i have but you can do it i can do it and she always wants me to turn it on for her and i'm not using the camera anymore so she's in trouble well now you're cl really clear I, uh, I have a program called portrait professional yeah and uh what you do is you download the picture into it and then you tell it whether you want it to look glamorous or or and it's got all the photoshop uh setups in it so you can say i want glamour i got a young person older person you can uh, mm -hmm. change their neck and and so forth and take out wrinkles and, yeah um uh, make their eyes larger. Yeah, <laughs> and, I thought. Uh, how did your green screen go? I thought we'd see a different background. Oh, I haven't, I haven't messed with it yet. I downloaded the uh, the software last night. When I woke up in the morning, it said uh, installation successful. So that that's as far as I got. I was happy with that success. We'll see how, how much further I can get along. Yeah. Uh, well. I also need uh, uh, the bar that goes across uh, from the oh, two well, lights. This new, this new camera I'm thinking of buying that Logitech has out uh, mm -hmm. will automat it doesn't need a green screen to put a background, although you should have a solid background for it to work, but it will take a basically solid background and uh, key you to it. Uh, you don't have to have a green screen or anything. That's pretty neat. Which, what Logitech camera is that? This is the big expensive one that just came out called the Brio. Is oh, this mirrorless? Is 
Huh? Is that the one that does like webcasts and and so forth? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, You're thinking of something that Livestream has, and I wouldn't yeah, buy that yeah. piece of shit. Uh, you know. Uh, Wait, is yes, it, is it mirrorless? Could be found on the screen. What? Is it mirrorless? Is it what? Uh, I think it's video. It, it's a it's, video. It's camera. a video camera, or yes, is it? It's a video camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I it's thought a, it was it's a webcam, film. just like you know the ones you're using, maybe using right now. Only it's their new version, which is 4K. Okay. Although you will not get 4K out of it on most machines, but it it's it has a much better um, uh, uh, clarity and so on. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm thinking I've got oh, some money to waste, so I'll waste that. Mm -hmm. Waste it. On Mine that. here is the 4Q version. There's a 4Q. What are you doing? You're throwing stuff in front of it there. Uh, I'm just touching it. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 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 Scott, are you working on the uh, on the cross on the cr crossword? Got a piece. Mm -hmm. You know, got a piece I, in. every time I sit on the can, you know, I do a crossword puzzle. So every time I sit on the can, I'm there for about 20 minutes while I do the Monday crossword puzzle of the New York Times. No, this is a jigsaw puzzle. But it's, that's why I kept saying crossword, but it's a jigsaw yeah. puzzle. Can you use your camera and show people where you are with the jigsaw puzzle so far? Yeah, See this if you can cool. move it. And let me let me put you, uh, oh, there we go. Get you really big. There he is. Oh, oh my God. He's working on the sky. Oh. Yo, the sky, it's terrible, too. It's terrible. Yeah. It's like we've been working on this for like, what what know, what is it? Half. Show us show us pretty much what it is. Show us what it is. I mean, with yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see oh. it? it's the uh, it's the castle at uh, in Ger in Germany. yeah Germany. Maria, new, new, I can't say it. Yeah. Maria, what's that called? Yeah, uh, I can't hear me. Yeah, it looks it's like a, the, it's a, a new Schweinstein or something like that. Yeah, so. And so the castle's complete. You're you're working on the really hard stuff on the sides because it's just gray yeah. or blue. A little yeah. darker. Castle. Mm -hmm. and we're doing the sky, and then we got to do like the forest around it, which is going to be a bitch too. But now, we don't it, have enough space to put that the forest out, so we got to finish it, the sky. You didn't so realize you only have a finite number of years on this planet. And you know, I figured I'm officially retired when I start doing cross, uh, jigsaw puzzles. Well, oh, I'm doing crossword puzzles, so you know, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, you got me you doing know. crossword in my head. I, I've too. I've done maybe over two or three hundred of those Monday crosswords, and I do them in about twenty five minutes. Those are the easy ones, right? On Mondays. Then Monday Monday is the, the Monday's the easiest one. Tuesday's pretty easy. Wednesday gets a little harder. By the time you get to Thursday and Friday, and I have completed a whole week when I. Had absolutely no life when you were really backed up. But it was really backed up. Uh, uh, but you get the Friday and it's a bear. Well, you know, you guys have always had a lot of cross words for me. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Bravo. Thank you very much, Phil. You've said your joke. Get lost. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, so, so since you guys are all talking about cameras and things like that, yeah, I want to show you a little picture. Tell me if you can see it. Okay, well let me let me blow you up now to full screen here so that people can see you. Now, is that, what is that? Pull back a little. That look. No, uh, is that a frog, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, oh a it's a frog. frog. It's a frog. Yeah. It's a froggy. It's there a we go. There, that's uh, perfect. Right there. Oh, right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's perfect. Stay right there. Yeah, because the light is it's adjusting to the light. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. So what is he? He's he's a toad. Yep. Yeah, did he, you shoot that? So no, actually. My wife did that, mm -hmm. and she That's won an award for that. Oh, wow. really? Which is the first time she's really entered to this competition thing. Well, so everybody goes, oh, what what kind of camera did you use? She just said the iPhone. We're gonna so what her. do you think, experts? <laughs> we use an iPhone. Of course. Uh, you know something? I've taken some great pictures. You know, like the, some of the pictures of the sunsets and stuff that I've used on my uh, my Facebook page, all done with a uh, with an iPhone. We have a f big frame picture I shot with an iPhone, and then I ran it through Photoshop to bring out the sunset and brighten it up and do things like that. But basically, it uh, and that was with an old iPhone. The new iPhone's even better. It's like oh, this one is uh, like a version four or something like that. A real old. Well, I have. Um, I bought girlfriend, a, you know, a Nikon, and they bought her another Nikon because they upped the amount of pixels and stuff. And the the the, the yeah, Nikon uh, she has, the really good Nikon. Is Scott talking to himself now? Talking to my wife. She just got home from uh, work. Yeah. Okay. He's you, he, he's frisky tonight because he's on the booze. 
You're um, retired and she's and you sent her off to work while you retire? Oh yeah, this is like a 14 hour day. Yeah, this and, is great, make, man. And, that, <laughs> and, 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 then he, and then he says when she gets home, make me dinner, bitch. You know, so, I mean. Actually, actually, I got Chinese today because this was a late day. Oh, I, I see. She, it's her yeah, off day. And so she worked all day. She left you alone, unsupervised, and she brought home dinner. That is one nice girl. No, no, I, no I, I got the Chinese. I did oh, drive out, got the Chinese. But. Excellent. Well, That's you know, good. girlfriend works, and then she comes home and she goes, you know, I worked all day. You do something. You make dinner, you know, whatever. And I, you know, I try to tell her my life is uh, filled with stuff to do too. And she says, "Like what?" I said, "Like figuring out why Skype is fucking up," you know. And she says that doesn't count. You make dinner. You should. You're the one working at home. You're the one who gets to make dinner. Oh, so far Seagate has solved my problem. So far, those files, those folders haven't been coming back in my uh, thing. But that's Ooh. that's another program. And if people didn't hear what I had to say when I did that, you know. I, Fuck you. Anyway, where were we? Oh, so um, uh, what was I saying? We're talking about cameras. Oh, cameras, yeah. So, I mean, my iPhone, the iPhones we bought, I think have a better resolution, slightly better resolution than that Nikon that she has, the single lens, so, lens reflex. Can we get all nerdy at this point in time? I did not upgrade my phone because rumor has it, drum roll, boom, 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 boom. that the iPhone 8, which is the 10th anniversary of the iPhone mm -hmm. is going to have some good stuff in it. So, yeah, so well, what it's going to do in honor of its 10th anniversary, it's going back to its original resolution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might have the rounded back in honor it's of possible. its 10th anniversary. That's what they're saying. Oh, why yeah, around, so, what, what is the advantage of a rounded back? It's the screen. I, yeah, it was just the way it looked. The way. It, did you have an iPhone 3? No, did I have an I I got the I iPhone the two I think. There was no, an iPhone two. I, well, the first I one, three, original one. The three uh, was the first one. The three was the why. first one. No, oh. no. Yeah, it was a three, and then there was a three GS or something like no, that. No, no. Yeah. I think there was actually a two. I do believe. No. Uh, I my first one was in two thousand seven or eight. That's yeah, two thousand seven is when they came out. Hmm. BlackBerry was still around, so it it had a funny rounded look to it. Yeah, yeah. There's another company that was in the San Francisco area, right? Which I forgot about. Did, did we yeah. lose somebody? No, we didn't lose anybody. Oops. Mm -hmm. I just, I just brought in Brian, but he didn't. Uh... Yeah, it was. You know why they called it a three? Because it was a three G, uh, yeah. phone. Wait a minute. But, Let me uh, find him. Yeah. First yeah. I don't phone remember. Was released June 29th of 2007. Oh, I, I'm trying to call Brian back, but guess what? I'm going to get his voice. I mean, to get his voicemail. Well, maybe yeah. he fixed it. So, yeah, the new iPhone's coming out, so I'm dying to see what's going to be on the new iPhone. So I didn't upgrade this year from the 6 to the 7. I'm just hanging on to the 6. You know, that I got the 6S. I, I'm, I I'm, so, I'm, so, yeah. I'm so out of that. You know, I have an iPhone 7, and we waited three years to get our iPhone 7. Right. Not because we're, we, we don't have the money, although we'd rather save the money than use it, but uh, we just weren't that interested and i quite frankly i mean what more is my iphone going to do you know well, i don't use it basically for, for photographing you know? rob so gutter blow jobs. what would you say rob blow jobs blow jobs yeah the iphone will give you a blow job. it's going to be more expensive this time around it's going to be a lot more expensive this time around why i don't know but that's what i heard the prices well, are going coming... up 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 if it's coming from China, isn't it possible that uh, Twiddle D has put in all of the regulate or the price increases that we're going to have to pay for? Well, part because of it also is the the worldwide shortage of the uh, uh, the the, uh, the the hard drives, the the solid state components, the flash drives. We've been watching them. In fact, we could we we sell some of our storage arrays. We can't even get the solid state drives. And even RAM and computers, all of the prices are going up, and they say that's going to wait the way it's going to be through 2018. It's a worldwide shortage. Really? Why is it a shortage? Did somebody's plant well, blow up just, somewhere? Apple. Apple bought up all of their, so what, three manufacturers or four manufacturers in the world that make this stuff, and they've purchased all of it. So, so they've got a big surplus they're sitting on, and all of the co the computer companies like us and others, everybody, are struggling because uh, 
it, Apple it, stock is going to go up again. Well, this has been a while. They purchased it a while back. Well, so Apple, you know, the latest things coming out on Apple is they are, their sales are down a great deal. Yes, yes, they say uh, that iPhone sales dropped again. And iPad sales are down, too. Um, well, so I'm waiting for a few yeah, And you know why? I'll tell you why. Because it's like me. What do I need a new iPhone for? I, and I, I, what do I need a new iPad for? Yeah, you know, be a little have, have a few more bells and whistles on it. But hell, you know, all I ever do with it is these damn crossword puzzles. It's not going to make it that much better, you know. Hi, Brian. Hello. Yeah, I forgot to uh, pair my Bluetooth headset to this phone. Oh, okay. Well, good. So I'm waiting for the new phone, and I'm <laughs> waiting for the new Apple TV because they're talking about Apple Five, Apple TV coming out with the fifth edition. So. I'm waiting really? for both of this. Yeah. What are they going to do with that? Have they said anything? What What are the features of the five, fifth generation? It is going to blow you. Yeah. It, uh, it has uh, more to do with the 4G, or the 4K. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, they're not they're not 4K now. But I'll tell you, I have a 4K TV 4G. set, and I have a, a Roku that does 4G, and the picture on the Apple TV, even though it isn't a 4G, uh, 4K rather. Uh, is um, uh, just as looks just as good, if not sometimes better than the Roku in 4K. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I I don't know that the you know the upscaling that a 4K does. Uh, if you're getting a good solid signal, a good 1080p picture, uh, it's going to upgrade that to a good 4K signal. So I you know I, it doesn't really matter if all of a sudden they're going to do 4K. Why didn't they think of that before? 4K was out when the when the new one T Apple TV came out. So the Apple TV seems to be on a two year stint. So it was two years yeah, but ago. But here, but here's where they're ripping us off with that is because they could have knowing that 4K was coming, uh, have all the all the materials inside to do 4K and just need an upgrade to bring it up so you can do 4K. So yeah. that's that. I think that's kind of fallacious and. Well, I have the original Apple TV, so I'm like three generations behind, or four generations well, behind. Well, I have I have one new of the new Apple's uh, TVs, okay. yeah. uh, and I, oh, I like it. But you know, That's I mean, cool. Roku's a hell of a lot cheaper and does the same goddamn thing. Yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah. I have an original. Android, what, what were you going to say, Brian? Is Roku Android based? Uh, uh, no, no, it has its oh. own proprietary. Operating because system. My thing is, I I get an Android uh, tablet running a Android Seven, yeah. and I use the HDMI uh, uh, connection or, or mini HDMI connection, two two uh, regular size HDMI connection on my television. How am I not essentially, if not a well, you, you'd probably be better off if you Apple. had an Apple TV and you had an Apple iPhone. And you could just play it from your set without having to do the connection. You can do right. it wirelessly. Yeah. Now, okay, so my Samsung, I think, has that as an as an option, and I'm still learning how to do it. I downloaded the Samsung app to my iPhone, and I'm supposed to be able to do all of my programming or changing the channels and raising the volume stuff from my iPhone as long as it has a decent connection with my Samsung television. Well, you know what I can do? I, I, I can literally from here with on my on my Mac, I can send anything from the Mac, any video from the Mac to any, to TV. T it, to any TV in the house that's on the network. So sometimes when girlfriend's watching one of her favorite programs and I'm just pissed that she's been watching this thing and binge watching it, I'll interrupt her program for one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and she comes into me, something's wrong with the TV set. What's going wrong? I don't know. You know, it's probably trying to tell you something. <laughs> hi, Charlene. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Where's, uh, where's Phil and his neck thing that he has on his camera? Because I, I could use something here, you know. A, a, a <laughs> neck thing. thing. I don't know. You said you have some kind of, uh, you know, camera that you know you can no, do she was, all these amazing he, he things. Was he was talking about Photoshop filters that. Do right, this. right, and yeah. that you can fix everyone's neck and all right. that. Oh, well, oh, uh, oh, it's oh, a it's a program, and you can download it. Uh, <clears throat> trial. I'm, I'm one of those neck people. I need neck oh, help. Yeah, it's it's here. called uh, Portrait called. Professional. I don't get the red eye. I get the neck thing. <laughs> yeah, it's called Portrait Professional, but it works with either Photoshop or Lightroom. So you you have it's a plug-in, 
so I can't download it to my iPhone? No. No. Okay. Yeah. And I, I apologize for not having great video because I'm too bright. Uh, no, no, your video, light. your video, video Fine. looks great. Your video you look like us. It looks yeah, terrific. Everybody looks such. I was watching on Facebook, and the quality was like well, fantastic. You know, uh, Facebook has upped the quality of, uh, and using a certain program here of what we can do. And I, I'm still keeping live stream temporarily till I make sure I've got all my uh, T's crossed and everything. But I get more people watching through Facebook Live. And the video, if you blow it up on a TV set, it looks great. Mm. You know, you can blow it up on a 65-inch TV set, and it no. looks terrific. Where the stuff I was doing with, uh, with Livestream and their little program absolutely sucked, you know. Mm. So. Boy, and, that would be bad to see my entire face on an 80-inch television. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you only take up about one eighth of it right now. So, God, that's sad. hello, Tony. How yeah. are you? Listen. Um, uh, so, anyway, what I was going to say is, you know, I tomorrow if I had to get a new phone, I would be tempted to buy like a Samsung or a get out of the uh, out of an Apple. The only problem mm -hmm. is, I am so in the Apple ecosystem that I can't leave it because my TV set speaks to my uh, iPhone, it speaks to my iPad. You should be here when the phone rings and my <laughs> iPad goes off watch and goes my off, watch right. goes off and my phone goes off. It's and like- the TV little, says, you got a phone call. Yeah, Pick it up, please. yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, all of them ring at the same time, but it, I'm part of that eco structure. And if I move out of it, then certain things are not gonna speak to other yeah. things and it really, I'm, where's the government in all of this? Why don't they make some rules that, you know, that uh, uh, an Android has to speak to an Apple and an Apple has to speak to an Android? Yes, Renee. No, I, I think you should just give it up and, and, and embrace the Apple universe. And what do you mean? I already have. I've given them so much <laughs> fucking money. I'm, uh, the reason they didn't make money this year is I didn't buy a new iPhone. <laughs> well, you probably don't need another one. But I think a lot of people are finding that they don't need to buy a new iPhone because the one they've got is pretty good. And just because they come out with a new thing where you can make the background fuzzy is not enough to make you want to buy the phone. I'm still paying for mine. Those, uh, those uh, monthly payments that yeah. you pay. It's not paid off. So I'm not going to upgrade. But what, Wait, is, what, what is this thing they want you to do where you, you, buy the, you buy the thing, you pay so much per month for it. Okay. Break it in. And then like every lease, every right? like and, and every every year they give you a new one. Mm -hmm. now no, my, they don't. You well, have to I guess pay I, off the old one, yeah. Yeah, you gotta pay off the old one, so I'd have to send them a couple of hundred bucks. No, 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 no. This is this is the new thing that they would like you to buy for like AT and T, in which mm -hmm. you just pay a monthly fee at something like forty three dollars mm -hmm. for the pay twenty something for the dollars. phone. For the phone. Uh, and then I guess on top of that is whatever the, you know, the cost to use the phone. Sure. Uh, but uh, let's say for a hundred dollars a month, at the end of the at the end of the year, you just trot on down and say, "Give me a new iPhone." Yeah, it's not worth. Give it. me the newest one. I, oh. Well, but they're kind of forcing you into those plans now. Well, no, they're not. I, I, you could finish sell, You could finish paying for yours and keep it. Well, I paid yeah, well, I kept or 600 for mine when I uh, went in and got it. And then uh, I didn't realize that that was still subsidized. I thought I was just buying it and uh, life was good. Well, well, wait a minute. Why did you pay? Five? Oh, I paid 500. Yeah. For the yeah. Uh, for the iPhone, the seven. What does that mean? Well, that was the six uh, that I had. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what what does that mean? Uh, well, you, 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 you it's still subsidized. Yeah. Yeah. It's you're just getting it for a lower price. I see. Yeah. So, uh, so the, if you didn't lay out the five or six hundred bucks, uh, you were still getting subsidized. Uh, no, 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 no. They're charging you. You're, you're getting monthly. subsidized at five hundred. Uh, you know, yeah. if you bought that phone on your own, it would cost what a thousand or something. Yeah. Seven ninety nine or something. It depends on the model. You know, the capacity. But if you I had one twenty eight. Yeah. So. I'm paying, I think, $24 a month for my phone and $26 a month for my wife's phone. She's got the Plus. I, I have, have the regular plus. one. 
So at the end of the lease, we own it. So it's not subsidized. They give it to you. Right. You know, but they, they don't. They, they're trying to not make you do that. They're trying to make you go on the just the constant leasing deal. Yeah, and they want you to do that. That's what's Verizon. This, Verizon. What's this new deal no, with the unlimited AT&T. now? AT and T's giving the unlimited. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, there's, but there's forty a, bucks a month or something. But there's right? a there's a there's a, there's a cut. Yeah. There's some kind of thing about that. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm unlimited anyway, so I don't. Yeah, care. I'm grandfathered in, but I don't have a hotspot because it's the old style, and they won't let me. You know, I have a hotspot on my iPad, but because uh, my what, iPad. What do you mean so, they won't let you? They won't let you get a new phone. You say. No, no. They, uh, you, you know, if you want to use your hotspot to power your laptop, for instance, yes, I can't use the phone to do it because it doesn't have a hotspot. Oh, I because see. I have the old plan. You don't have a hotspot. It's terrible. Yeah, but what are the, uh, you know, uh, I, I still, even at my age, have a hotspot. Yeah. Scott, uh, hot, hot Scott spot. started that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, uh, not it's when you can use your phone to power uh, or as a cellular thing to to power your other devices. Yeah, take an iPad. No, you don't power your other devices. You're sending a, a Wi-Fi signal. signal. Yeah, uh, the Wi-Fi. data signal. Yeah. Oh. So you get Wi-Fi. Yeah. So. Uh, well, when like your plan <laughs> and my plan, we don't have the ability to do that on on our iPhone. What do you mean? Uh, my I can plan? I can, I, can, I can do it. I can. I can do it. You don't have a hotspot. I think I. I. I think I can be a hotspot. Yes, and on this <laughs> phone, absolutely. Well, you would have to convert your plan. You would have to. You would probably have to add it to your plan. Yeah, but I don't care about being having my own hotspot. Uh, well, if you're traveling, it comes in handy. I use it a lot. If I go visit a customer and I need to get to the internet. I just power it on and uh, you know turn on the hotspot and. It automatically Do you pay extra for that? Up. You pay no. extra? Yes. No. no. I, I don't pay extra for uh, it. In fact, I, I should look at my, my phone, I think, if I looked at it. The, you pay your data plan, whatever you're, you know, you're yes. using your data. Yeah. Yes. It's oh, your it's, data. Okay, so you're using your data. Yeah, I think yeah. I can use, get do a hotspot with mine because uh, it does have a hotspot. Unless you got rid of your original uh, original yeah, deal. They that's a, that's no, what they think. Punish they have, us. They have, they have it blocked for people. Who have the unlimited plans because they want you off that plan? Yeah, right. right. Every time I turned around, they. You know something though? They were very good to me once though because um, I did something in in you know I got a new iPad and so I wanted to convert it over to the other to the to the to the AT and T plan, and in doing so, they they somehow cut out something where I was upgrading my old plan. And so I suddenly got stuck with a new plan that wasn't the grandfathered in uh, unlimited. So I called them up and I said, what's with this? I'm unlimited and this thing w- deferred to this other thing. And they said, oh, okay, well, we'll turn it back. And they, they let me keep the unlimited, even though I had opted out of it, actually. Hey, hey Alex, wasn't that because you got a new credit card or something? No, that wasn't it. it oh, I thought it was a credit card that you had it automatically paid and it. You know something that may something. have that may have done anyway. it too. That may I may have, yeah. it was something like that. But when yeah. I finally confronted them with the fact that hey, why am I not unlimited now? They mm-hmm. went, oh well, we'll put you back unlimited you, because we see that you were, and this is a this is a yeah. mistake either on your part or our part. But you know, yes, I, Jeff. I had the same problem. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, they were not so accommodating for me. Really. Me- yeah, and I don't know why. What is it? AT and T? No, it was not. It was, yeah, mine was AT and T. Well, I uh, what happened was uh, they they called my store and they pitched Faye, my girlfriend, uh, that oh we can save Phil you know X amount of dollars a month, and so she said oh that sounds like a good idea, and she did it, and then all of a sudden I I said oh, wait a minute you know uh, what's this data plan that. Uh, I looked at the bill and I called them up and they uh, they gave me a really hard time and they had to investigate and do a whole bunch of stuff. But finally, they had to they- prove that it wasn't you and you didn't give her authorization right. to do it or something. Yeah. Well, you know, anyway, it's, it's called it, slamming. It, it looks to me like everybody's getting bored with us talking about technology. So mm. let's move on to some other stuff. Is there uh, any is there anything else in the news today that's worth yeah. talking about? Uh, new health care plan. Uh, Trump is 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 moving f- forward with his agenda. Yeah, but he's still got to get it through 
the session. Well, hey, that's, this is a lot further along than it was uh, last week. Yeah, well, that's Alex. that's kind of like I'm getting closer to getting laid by Kim Kardashian than I was last week. Alex, you, you may. What, 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 Charlie? I'm really hot about this thing. I happened to be in an eye doctor's office, and they had CNN on, and yeah. I knew that it was, you know, he... Uh, before they go on that, what is it called? Not the break. What is that thing called? Yeah, and you break. sat, you sat there when I can't see what I'm. I can't believe what I'm seeing. And they said, "Well, let's fit you for some glasses." Well, I, I got mad because out here you can't say anything political, you know, at all, because people just think you're a nutcase right away out here in New Jersey. Anyway, so I, I made a, a comment. <laughs> I thought it got passed totally. I went. Oh, my God. And I, I just couldn't believe it, you know, because I was in front of the television. I forgot, you know, I'm out in public. You know, I always forget it out here. I'm at, So a woman that was just happened to be there said, yeah, but it has to go through the Senate. So I said, oh, thank you. I said to her because I, I said I wasn't thinking that. And then right away they, they told me I wasn't a candidate for any kind of LASIK surgery <laughs> and everything else because of uh, it was because of politics. But anyway, I'm like hot over that because I, I you know, I, but I'm so glad that it has to go through. Charlene, Do you think they'll take your money for LASIK surgery. These guys are all whores. They, you know, uh, pretty soon they're going to be paying people to take LASIK surgery. Uh, they don't care. Not a candidate don't care what, they don't care but, what your uh, political. But, uh, Do you think, Alex, it's going to make it through the Senate? Or, or, it oh, could. Good. Yes, it could. It could. Now, did you see this thing that's going around on Facebook that rape could be a pre existing condition? <laughs> well. Like you get raped oh, and you gosh. go for health care and you don't have insurance, they can't give you any because of. Uh, no, there's a whole list that's going around of pre existing conditions. Yeah, on Facebook. I wouldn't believe half of what you read on Facebook, though. No, but I mean, uh, that's what I'm afraid of that well, like, people are going to be dying. What I because, did read in the news. took it out of this. this version has he took out the pre-existing thing what right? i did read oh, in, and what i did read in uh, uh on, on the internet today was it the um um what is it the um, uh, the, the medical not the not the ama CBO? but the uh the uh oh, what's CBO? no what's the um what's the uh, medical magazine what's it called jama uh, yeah, journal of american whatever medical right yeah I thought they, it was called Highlight. Journal no. of a Medical uh, of American Medical. For medical six, yeah. Six, yeah. Anyways, they came yeah. out today with a statistic <laughs> that they they not only believe but say that if Obamacare is done away with, it will cost the lives of forty four thousand people in their first year. Check uh, that out. Uh, I don't buy that. I I am I'm happy that, it, but I don't uh, that the government That's is good news. Against, mandating that it, people have to do something against their will wait so hold on a second uh, oh, the time oh, bill. you're so hard. gonna start me on this one okay so hold on does everybody on this panel all of your medical needs are currently being met is that mm. correct no it's, yeah. except uh, phil except uh, phil. Every, phil except for phil what? jeff are you? Can you go to your doctor and everything's being met? Yeah. Uh, but Scott, if they screw around again, mine's going to be screwed up because it happened oh, the last time. Okay, and Tony. So the only person on this group that is currently having medical problems is the person who thinks that this is all a good idea. You can't lump that, that in. Bill? You can't lump that in because I happen to have chosen a plan that isn't going to give me what I wanted no, for something so, I never expected I'd have. No, so, that's bullshit. Uh, okay, so let's start with this. Well, that's the kind, every, that's the every, kind of, 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 uh, of, of, of uh, what can we call it? irresponsibility that the Republicans yeah, say December, people have, you know, because December, they don't take care of themselves, Phil. In December, every, I'll get a new plan. Every man will you will, will you if, if don't be too sure of that enough. Phil don't be too sure of that don't be well, too sure that when you go just, to get that plan it isn't going to be hot prior priced because the insurance well, companies are going to take advantage of this believe me I have I, I understand I may be paying more money but that's believe not me. that's not the problem believe me yeah <laughs> uh, it's it's very big big league. It's a very, very big program. Well, uh, right. Rob, big why don't you believe that 44,000 people will die? This is an estimate by know. the Journal of Come American on. Medicine no, I, or whatever it is. It just sounds to me like, and look, I'm, I'm not defending the, the new plan. 
but I just think that sounds to me like uh, I don't know that you know I don't I have to go look at the statistics on death in the country and and where this would impact it I think it would impact it in that a lot of people wouldn't be having their uh, uh, the insurance that they need and so they wouldn't right. be going to the doctors when they, won't they be should able to be treated well the pre the pre act uh, what is it the uh, preemptive care. You know, it uh, sounds to me like when they happen. say death death panels and things like that. That's the when, when the when the right was saying that Obamacare is going to bring on death panels. When mm -hmm. I hear forty four thousand people are going to die, it's the same thing to me. That's what I hear. I hear. I've got my tinfoil hat for this one. Somebody, is that what they call it? Yeah. Well, thank God he covered it over, and we don't have to see that it's that Trump hat. No, this is a A's hat. <laughs> so, How dare you do that to the A's? What? What were you saying, Renee? So somebody just put out, and somebody in a high profile, and I'll dig it up, just put out the statistics of the bank of medical bankruptcies from 2015. From 2015, so before Obamacare, then during Obamacare, and what they think is going to happen to that number after uh, the repeal of Obamacare, and those numbers are ugly. They're they're just ugly. The no, amount of bankruptcies. It's no different than Rob's forty four thousand. No, no, see that number, I, that I could believe more that people will uh, bankrupt. Uh, uh, yeah, I, and I you don't think you're bankrupting yourself. Oh, the I main could, one of the major reasons for bankruptcy in this yeah. country in the past has been medical care. Yes. Yeah. Right, people lost everything. Right. Right. To and pay their so, doctor bills. Yeah. Uh, Tony has his hand up, and since Tony never says anything, I'd like to defer to him. Yes, Tony. Make us proud. Oh, your mic isn't even on, Tony. Oh. <laughs> your mic you isn't even me. on. Your lips are moving, but we can't hear can you. Can you hear us, Tony? Tony, can you hear us? You're muted. Turn You're on muted. your microphone. Tony, You're muted. Tony, we can't hear you. We can't. Maybe he's not muted and he has a mic problem. Oh, oh no, I think he knows something. So. Can no. anyone text him somehow? Or? It, no. He, uh, can, um, can you hear us, Tony? Text. Can you hear you us? Can hear yes. Us. Oh, Did okay. you hear us tell you that we can't hear you? Okay. Hang up and try again. That might be an idea. No, Good no. Start. If he's if he's got, what? do you that? do you have your mic muted on your Skype? No. Do you Is have your, your mic, mic plugged in? in? Would we lose uh, Brian? The mic's in the in the in the computer. Oh, that. It's all the way over there. Oh. We just we and we just lost Brian because I think he's probably going in the house. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, you can oh, call us back. Okay. It'd be nice if it works. There goes Tony. <laughs> oh, that was wild. And then so, there, and then there were so six. There's two things. So I'm going to take that report with all of the information regarding the bankruptcies that are going to be forthcoming because of this plan, and I will post it on Alex Bennett's Facebook page, which is the same page that he's got the video on. And yeah. Jeff Stein, I will go back and repost the information in regards to the way that women the little girls are programmed as early as age six so that you can if you've got access to facebook you can get on facebook and look at alex's webpage and read that report too i don't think i think the report about the bankruptcies is true and i don't think anyone in the united states or any other country unless you're the kkk or the american nazis or westboro baptist church should go without health care now and that includes you phil I unless you're in one of those, yeah Did he you healthcare? know where is david you know remember him in uh, uh the Czech Republic? I, I just I, uh, are you there tony Yes. Can oh, he's you see, now we can hear him. Okay. Turn on your camera now, though. What was he going to oh, say? Sorry. We're all waiting with bated breath. What was he going to say? What was he going to say? Okay, I'm going to turn the camera back on. I'm going to name my new dog Pebbles. That's what he was going to tell <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, in, I'm debating. Uh, That's what I wanted to say. Now but you need more light. Film. You need more light. We, now well, we can't even, we can't, we can see you, but it's. Yeah. I don't have a bigger light in here. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. At least we can hear him. Uh, can you, are you ready? What I don't get is with the whole health care, when Renee said, are you happy with it? I, I still, I'm not happy with either side. Why can't we just have it for free? Why are you still so against free? Because guys like Phil don't want us to have a good health and have a good time. No, just don't I, I think that it's in the Constitution, that. actually. It's constitutionally uh, no, a part. No, it's not. It's it should of, be. No, it's part of the Constitution, <clears throat> oddly enough. How do you, where? 
uh, oh, okay. life, liberty, and the pursuit, pursuit of, of happiness. happiness. You know, I was like reading liberty. in a review. That doesn't say anything about health care. No, but uh, you're not going to be very happy if you're we sick. We have to have them reinterpret that. Well, but remember, so the, the word is pursuit of happiness. They you, don't guarantee you happiness. They guarantee right. you the... Life, you know, you, you know get a good life if you're Well, sick. life, life, okay, mm -hmm. life. Yeah, lifetime meaning. Health is part of life. Yeah. Because yeah. you know what bothers if me? If you don't have good health, you're dead. So, right. you know. What bothers me is, like, if you work at a place, right, they think they're doing you a favor. Like, we're going to give you health insurance. Really? That's it's the like thing. Oh, well, I know. They, I got that. Yeah, I got that at Sirius. They said, well, you've you got health insurance. Yeah. Once I pay, like, 150 bucks a month, yeah, I have health insurance. Like yeah, in the old days, you got it free. You but got now it free. They don't do that anymore. Some companies still do it free. I think if you work for somebody like Apple, uh, you you don't pay part of it. They pay the whole thing. You know, Alex, I Good, have a theory. Uh, uh, some companies still still my, my wife's company. Yeah, the Chinese. She's she, got we don't. We don't. Say, we, that's not. I was going to say they're Chinese. You can't. We don't pay a penny. Say. We don't pay a penny for for insurance. They take care of the whole tab. You know, Alex, I have a theory. I really have a theory, and I think you might have to agree with this. And Phil's not going to agree with this. I really think they don't want to make it free, the government, because they know those shit companies yes. that hold people out of job for the carrot of health care will go out of business if they had to run their own business. If we were covered, those businesses would go by the wayside because they have to be more competitive. Phil, you're wrong because places like these little shops, people would say, fuck you, I don't need to work here. I have health care. I'll go someplace else. They would be forced to have to run a better place. People are hold my Look, chains uh, if from, by health care. From a financial standpoint, yeah. having people in good health is going to actually save us money rather than cost us money. They don't want it free. You know, the, the Republicans who think they're such so great with money don't understand the simple thing that if you've got a sick population, that's going to wind up costing you a ton. Yep. No, they, they get they, to put you, know, you on drugs. Just to die. Just die. Yeah. But why is he so against free health care? But he's like, I don't get that. It's like, it's not free. We're going to pay. Well, he's also, he's also against art programs and schools. And he's, you know. PBS, right. Which is, just, by the way, very kidding. interesting. One of the most popular new shows on television is um, um, uh, the program. Designated Survivor. Uh, designated Survivor with, uh, yes. with uh, Keith oh, Sutherland. Keith, Have you, do oh. you watch the show, Rob? Absolutely, yeah. I know. I know where you're going because of yeah. the, uh, the last. Every episode. week, they seem to have some kind of issue that shoves a knife right into the back of Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. right. Right. Last night, it was about uh, subsidizing art and schools, music, yeah, yeah, music and schools, <laughs> and and making a whole impassioned plea on that show for it. Hmm. Um, uh, you know, but I mean, uh, this guy doesn't want us to have fun. He just wants to get rich and everybody to get rich Trump? with him. Yeah. You yeah. know, I want to thank you, Alex, that, you know, you've uh, explained that this whole insurance company is getting rich started with Reagan, right? Yeah. He's he was well, the he's first a, guy to well, start before, that. Well, before, uh, before that, insurance companies were not a profit-making organization. They were non-profit. <clears throat> and then they became profit-making under Reagan. And, and that's if that when didn't happen... Yeah. Healthcare might have had a better thing going, but you're right. Well, if we let's, let's they're never going to change it now because they're making well. Let's put it this way: money, if right? if Reagan hadn't done that, the insurance the they would probably be talking about uh, uh, national health insurance a little more because there wouldn't be the insurance companies fighting it. Yes, Jeff. Trump uh, was in New York today, and at the end, he was talking to the president from Australia. And Prime Minister, I think. And his remark was, wow, here's the president from Australia. They have a very, very good system for their health program. Universal. Universal. Yeah. yeah, of course. So you idiot, and why don't we get there. it? Right. Yeah. Well, they're they're third world country. Hey, listen, I'd be happy. happy. Still know what it is. You know what it. I firmly how, do you know, <laughs> how do you know you didn't get it in this plan? Nobody's read it. I, I, you know, I it's only believe, one page. I'm sure it's not that complicated. It's not like the tax thing, right? I really believe that if Trump could, he would give you free health care. No, I don't believe I, I believe he would. 
I, right. I don't think he's that conservative but on he's that. A business I think man, he's a so businessman, so he can't. Man. Right. He you out he no, won't even change I, I agree with Ross. He's such a nice guy, they say, if you really know him. I don't buy it. I think he's a business I, I think he would. You know what was making me want to vomit this morning What's was listening to him on prayer day in the Rose Garden with all of these religious folks. He signed away. You know what he did? He signed. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, that's terrible. Another executive order today. Another which again, one, right. It, it doesn't do anything until About religion, right. Congress and all that. But it gives oh, it gives religions and organized religions the ability now to throw tons of money at politics and they called it freedom of speech, but we got free no, but, but, but no, but it was also a separation of church and state. And so right. I think anything that not would anymore. influence yeah, right. the, the, affairs the affairs of state, the affairs of state, should not be countenanced. And and, and he, that's the, the reason why we haven't allowed churches to financially contribute. Right. Uh, plus, the when means, they contribute yeah. money, they're contributing their parishioners' money, and their parishioners might not all be for that particular candidate. You mean like a union? Uh, that does when the unions union are members different aren't for a particular Phil, candidate, union, but the unions union contributes. Are, you tr are you saying a union is like a church? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that that's the same thing as uh, as a union donating to a candidate uh, the uh, union member's money uh, when a Phil, un have you lost your mind? They're two entirely different things, Phil. Well, it's the same thing. No, no. remember, same remember, thing. one's a tax exempt yes organization. Yes. That's a big difference. What he signed today, what he signed today was that they could, uh, they could uh, give money to candidates without having their tax exemption removed. Right. That's really That'll what go, what the executive it, order was. That's, that's, that's and that's and and I don't know of any uh, uh, union that's tax exempt. Okay. No, no unions are tax exempt. And, and that's got a long way to go. Well, I was talking about giving. Phil, the money what we're union. saying is you were trying to say that unions and the churches were the same thing, mm -hmm. and they are not. Well, there are some differences, but there are What do you mean there are, are some differences? There's all the difference in no, the world. I, I spoke to your statement. Why don't you was, say you were wrong and admit no, it? We'll I, move on. I spoke to your statement, which said that you could belong to a church, and the church could donate Alex. money, and the parishioner may yeah. not be in support of that candidate. And I said, well, it's just like a union. When the union do donates money and a union member isn't in support of that candidate. That's and, you just said it again. That's the same. Usually, if you check it, Phil, You'll find that most of the unions, when they've given money to candidates, have given it to both candidates. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yes, they, they traditionally they give it to both candidates because they're trying to, like, you know, keep both parties happy. Did, yeah. Brian, did you say something? I was just going to say it's just mouthpiecing again for the bill was just mouthpiecing again for the for for the for the Trump. For the Trumplicans. <laughs> the you know, Trumplicans. Order in the crack of his ass, and he'll, did, did and he'll anybody, uh, you know, spout another talking point. That's, Brian, uh, you need some more ice cream. Did, no. did anybody listen to the president, though, at, in the Rose Garden when he gave the speech? It, I, I, I swear to God, I almost had a pull off the road. I was on my way to Nationals Park to see a ball game. Yeah. And, I, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm driving, and I'm going, really? This guy's talking about grabbing pussies and all of the interviews he's done with Howard Stern, talking about how he goes backstage to his pageants and watches all these teenage girls get changed because he's the owner. And then he's got the nerve to talk about how wonderful prayer is and how we believe. <laughs> Are you he's going to meet the Pope. Me? He's going to he's gonna be meeting the Pope. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna, he's gonna go for confession. Gonna, no, he's going to get special dispensation. Yeah, special dispensation. Oh, Phil, Blood. Blood. What religion Blood. is Trump? I'll bet he's you. Not, I bet you because I, I, I think I know this Pope well enough as a Jew can know a Pope uh, to say that I think the Pope is going to give Donald Trump a piece of his mind. What oh, for, right? I he was. Trump. Trump. Pope is, oh, I could hope good. so. Imagine he calls him a piece of shit. <laughs> no, Trump doesn't know. You know, but I bet I bet he says something to make Trump squirm while he's there. Didn't the Pope say something about uh, Trump when he was a candidate? Well, because he, he did all those agreements. Something negative? Yeah. See, he did. Even the Pope don't like this guy. Hey, you know, most religious people don't like a guy who talks about women's put, grabbing women by the pussy and, and, and going into pageants with oh, teenagers no. and watching them naked in the dressing room. I don't think that most religious people... Well, let's go to the only religious person here. Scott goes to church every day. Scott, oh. how do you feel about Trump grabbing pussy? 
I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than an altar boy. <laughs> I well, like it. That's a surprising yeah. answer. No, and he please. wants to marry his own daughter. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah, that's right. No, somebody showed that clip again somewhere that I saw a few oh, days ago. God. Yeah. That they were like, oh, isn't this guy disgusting? Well, you know? we have in common he, is lusts, he lusts after his own daughter. And did you hear, Rob, did you hear how he was gloating today when he passed it? Like, oh, he was happy that Obama's thing is done. Sick. Well, yeah. you know, look, Tom it is. He may yeah, be, but it, it might have to go uh, in front of the Supreme Court again. That that guy in the, the, the oh, you know. We won the, but, but here's the thing. Here's the, here, here's the thing also about it uh, that, you know, he can gloat all he wants to today, but it still has to get through the Senate and it may have a little harder time there. Oh, oh I yeah. hope so. You know, so, and, so, and, 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 and this morning, it, it, same thing. He just can't sign that and have it happen. It's got to go through the process. It's got to be, it's got to go through Congress and all that. Yeah. yeah all they voted on today was to, uh, Go ahead okay. and try and replace uh, uh, Obamacare. Uh, uh, you know, uh, once it goes to the Senate, the Senate will get an opportunity to add and subtract whatever they want. To yeah, but they, they, they this is not this is not okaying a plan yet. This no. is not no. you know, and it's they the can't and they can't repeal Obamacare till they have something to replace it with. Right. So and this could go on. That. This could go we on don't. for years. So really, his little gloating today was. Mm -hmm. Really, I think probably political. ahead of the curve a bit. All political. Yeah. Uh, Charlene? Didn't he say, Trump, that when he put this in front of them again, it was going to be what he put in front of them the last time? He didn't change anything. That's what I think I heard. No, it's changed. No, it changed. He did change it? It's changed. It's worse than it was last yeah, time. Yeah, in order yeah, to appear worse. to the, in order to appeal to the uh, conservative he, right on the party, the he made party, it worse than it was they, last time. Yeah, yes. they had a now they have an eight billion dollar uh, fund. They've gotten rid it's of 60, the uh, sixty eight. But in the no. meantime, he's going to put out an executive order that if you get sick, you better get well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Don't make any problems is, for is us. Like right. Risk pool. That fund is a, a risk pool, right? Yeah, it's right. dropping it's, the bucket over, what, five years or $8 billion yeah. for when that uh, runs I, out, then what? Sorry, you're on your well, own. He's going to have to add more funds to it. Well, and, because he, he wants to see Obamacare fall, fail really badly. No, because they're going to put the responsibility look, look, on the states. Look, let's, be, let's, be, let's, let's be honest about something here, yeah. uh, 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 people. Uh, Obamacare is not very good, All okay? Right. And it's not very good by virtue of the fact that Obama – just did anything he could to get what he could. He he did get a few things like doing away with the uh, you know with the uh, uh, exception pre-existing pre -existing conditions and the uh, twenty six year olds is good twenty six yeah, and that's yeah, it right? yeah and and a few other things. It's really more insurance reform than it is health care, and I think the problem with it is is he had to create something that would be acceptable to the Republicans. And that's where we ran into trouble. And it trouble. was, right? He and probably, the Democrats like Ron Emanuel. He probably, he probably, yeah, he probably shouldn't have stood for anything less than single-payer health care. Rob? I heard a, um, a, 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 a clip from Paul Ryan from 2009, I think, mm -hmm. where he, when, when, they were, when their Democrats were pushing Obamacare through, and he came out and he said, we are rushing this. Why are we rushing this? We don't know what it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. He went on to talk about all this, and then yet today they voted on something that they didn't. They don't even know what the CBO cost of that is going to be yet. They didn't even want to get the costs. So you know that this vote was just politically motivated to get something done. Because God forbid they would have found out the costs first. They have no idea what this plan is going to cost. Yeah. I hate to tell you this, but I, th I really think it's a little bit of a Trojan horse because what's happening is the states are then going to be responsible for, uh, for this. So what he's doing is he's taking it off the backs of the federal government and the states are going to have to uh, issue med Medicaid. And right. it'll be it, the states will have to pay it through Medicaid and uh, right, for right, those that right. can't afford. And, uh, and by the and way, the government, the government, off, yeah, off the federal government, and the government's not going to reimburse them that much for their Medicaid. So, so there won't be a lot of money. So for there Medicaid, won't be a lot right? of money for people to get health care. And let's and, face it, most people in this country, the average American, doesn't make the kind of salary where he can even afford health care. All right. Yeah. That's the sad part about it's it. It's sad. It becomes a rich man's thing to have yeah, health care, uh, really. 
I mean, a, a family of fi- a family of four, I'd say probably has to pay five hundred dollars a month for insurance. That's, that's not. That's no, a lot more than that. That'd be cheap. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And, and name and the average family in America doesn't make four hundred dollars a month. You know? We don't. We don't that's want a, this. Maybe in Thailand. Hmm? We want single payer. It yeah, should have been cool. single payer. And the Republicans can just, you guys can just remove yourselves from the planet because the rest of us really want health care. And, you know, it's my ta- it's, it. it's, yeah. it's my tax money and I want something for my buck. OK, well, I don't want a fucking military that's costing me 51 cents on every dollar I give the government. I, I, I want a lot of ships. I, I want a lot of missiles. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting what yeah. I want this year. Yeah, yeah. Charlene's going to explode. And what are you going to do with them? Are you going to get you're going <laughs> to shove them up your ass and it'll fix your prostate? Thank you, Santa. No, you got to make room for the quarters, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's Tim, why I want David Tim, to call if he's out there somewhere in Czech Republic. Well, I mean, you Tim, Tim is just. I wonder called. what he has to say about Phil and okay. what's going on with all that. I think we Tim, have hold on a second. Tim, yeah. we have a full house. Yeah, somebody right now. came in. Tim just joined us. Hi, Tim. Good. Good evening. Yes. And so, what think you of all of this? Well, I used to uh, actually started with the government out of college, working as an auditor for HHS. Mm-hmm. Which was DHEW at the health, time. Health services. Yeah. Insurance. And uh, the reason they want to give the states, I, I audited block grants like Title 20, which is social services. Mm-hmm. The money was just thrown away. I had directors of mental health places brag that they got a twenty thousand dollar desk. Right. But what the block grant money? The state only wants to get credit for the money coming back from the feds, and they just spend it on anything they can get. Right, their hands they spend on. it on vacations for themselves. And, 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 and they had public hearings throughout the state of Ohio when I was there because mm-hmm. the, the director of the welfare wanted to cut back on welfare benefits, like stop podiatry benefits and stuff like that. And the law at that time, I don't know if it was federal or state, they had to have public hearings before you take a major benefit program away from people and i'm surprised that it's not applied to this um so um it's just unbelievable Um, there was a a few minor changes you know marco rubio is responsible for killing Uh the premiums because he you know did away with the risk corridors and um what exactly explain to me what a risk corridor is when you put 30 million people on health insurance that didn't have insurance yeah. for 10 or 20 years, it's very expensive. And these are built in for the government to support and make sure the insurance companies keep their premiums a reasonable, affordable level. And I have friends that, whose lives have been saved because, like musicians, they can't get insurance. But I have a friend that had cancer. He's a musician, but he got insurance from Obamacare. And he still has to go for treatment and stuff. So I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, what, what, what is going to have happen to all those people who do have insurance under Obamacare? Who, tea partiers who, don't care. I mean, what, what are, are, are we going to throw? They keep, I guess. Except well, no, you say you guess. You say you guess. But well, you don't know. It. Phil, can I say something to you? You are talking from a position of absolute ignorance because you don't know what's in this bill. What's in the bill, Phil? Explain it to us. Uh well, the things that they've told us are in the bill. Oh, wait a minute! Uh, wait a minute! The, the bill, like the bill, Obamacare. the bill is on, the bill the is on paper. The bill is on paper. What does it say, Phil? Have you studied it? I, I know. I okay, haven't. then I, how can you talk about it being good? I didn't say it was good. I said it's, I believe no, that ninety-five percent uh, of the bill subsidies. is a is a tax cut. It's a tax cut for the right. rich. That's well, I it's thought the largest the, uh, transfer of wealth from the poor, like yeah. during fiefdom time. To the rich, the yeah, Why did he well, name his son years Baron? Going the other way around. How, how no, you? but it, why, you don't call it a health care bill when you're giving cash to the rich. Yeah, you're giving cash to the rich. How are you? the rich getting cash off of this bill? Yeah, there actually there are. If, the you, if you're in the how, top point one percent, you you save two hundred thousand dollars a year yeah. taxes. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah, and what's that have to do with this bill? It's in the that's that's exactly that's where it's coming the, from. They're saving money from the health care to pay the rich. Yeah. You know they could do tax that's reform what, until after this bill because if they oh, put yeah, that and got in with the tax reform bill, it would be in the trillions. 
You oh, forgot about the loopholes that have been eliminated under the new tax plan. No. Yeah. What, what, yeah. What's one of those loopholes? Making money? Well, probably <laughs> the interest deduction on uh, on homes and a number of other things. Yeah, that's the only thing you're going to be able health to deduct insurance. is your that's mortgage. It's going to cut all my health insurance premiums. No, not they actually said anymore. that your health insurance premiums will be tax deductible. Where There's they, also a provision that says employer-supplied health plans won't have to meet the essential care right. requirements. Right. So they're going to be able to tell, tell, sell people basically cars that have been in a flood zone as if they were decent used cars. Uh, what's That's that have exactly to do with what they've done. What's right. that have to do with health care, Tim? This is exactly. so well, in a you, know why they want the, you know why they want the states to make the decisions? Because the yeah. lobbyists spend a lot less money controlling a state legislature well, than they do about, the, the feds. About, it's a lot cheaper about, to lobby the, 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 the state governments and get things done. Yeah. And the Republicans planned this out years ago to c control the states. They controlled so, the gerrymandering. You know, so you don't now, now, the, the, then at yeah. some point, Trump in, in eight years will want to get some amendments passed to the to the uh, to our, you know, to the and, Constitution. Uh, you don't you don't oh, trust God your local us, politicians. Yeah. You don't trust your local politicians, but you trust the federal ones. Is that right? I trust both, and you've got to be vigilant, you know, keep them all under control. Let, then, Tim, why wouldn't you let the state officials run their own uh, their own state? Because, because okay, the stuff. only reason that Social Security works and Medicare works it's is because it's nationwide, universal, by the federal government, yeah. and it's yeah. underwritten by both the federal government and, and, uh, and the state I, government. Last time I looked, we didn't have universal health care. Well, we and, do it on Medicare. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Phil, here's your solution to the insurance companies dropping out the plans. These insurance companies make buku profits mm. because they administer Medicare and Medicaid. We do days. have we do have universal health care, if you think about it. We do have yeah, it we in have this country. Yeah, we have the country. VA, my friends oh, wait, the no, VA. no, no, forget about that. Every congressman, every senator. Oh, yeah, oh, they absolutely. have excellent. Right. Yeah, they have essentially single-payer health care. They don't oh, pay, no, they, no, don't no. pay a, they don't pay premiums. No, they're, they're just... They're just working for an employer that, that doesn't have to work for the money, okay. uh, the federal government. Yeah, but, a listen, yeah, but nobody's talking all... Nobody's talking in this health bill about doing away with the benefits to con Congress leaders or senators. Yeah, we should cut that because you know, they work for two uh, years and they get a health care for life or something. Yeah, they, they originally yeah. had a, a specific clause saying they were exempt from Obamacare rules. Yeah. Yeah. And then they took it out when they got caught. No, they, they did not take it out yet, Tim. They didn't take it out they didn't take it out yet. Now, here's, oh, I got a two-step oh, solution. Anyway. They said, okay. I got a two-step, a two-step solution to solve and give us a, a single payer. Number one, to make the insurance companies competitive, any district or area that loses all their plans except one or or have no Obamacare plans, like uh, make those people eligible that would have normally got the plan for on Obamacare for Medicare for a year temporarily and I, put some competition. It would be a small scale. Uh, it would be a pilot across country. And number two, any insurance company that wants a Medicare, Medicaid, lucrative, profitable contract mm -hmm. to administer in the states, they also have to take on the Obamacare and provide a plan for that and make it a, to get the good contract, push it all together. So you're getting paid really well on this contract, but you've got to take care of, of these people, too. It's like Well, how come um, under the it, last it, contract, Tim, how come under the last contract, uh, I believe it's Ohio, uh, just uh, uh, is down to one uh, provider, and Aetna is pulling out of it. Uh, so what 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 is it that's so lucrative that's making these people want to pull out? They're not pulling out of any. They don't pull out of any Medicare or Medicaid contracts. No, but they're pulling Obama out of Obamacare. Obamacare is yeah, the brain, they don't they don't lose money on Obamacare. They don't make enough money, and they're putting a squeeze on like the big Walmart stores put squeezes on the little okay, mom and pop but stores. Let's get back. Let's get back to the main question here that I brought up. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Tim. Tim oh, let's go back to what I said though. That uh, by the way, Renee, we're you you get your face is getting lower and lower in the frame. Why don't you? <laughs> there we go. Now there we can see. Wow. Okay. My back is starting to hurt. That's why. I did. Oh. <laughs> anyway, just move it to the camera. You can see what you look like. Okay. Just center yourself in there. Yeah, so we can all see you. Okay. Um, uh, no, what I said earlier is that Obamacare was not a good plan. It was not a great plan. 
But what I would like to see is Obamacare improved, not yeah, Obamacare do done away with. The spirit is there. The Tea Party won't do that. Politics, that's, politics, politics. That, that, that's probably what we've got is uh, is an is a uh, an adjusted Obamacare. No, uh, you and, don't. No, that's not what they're giving you. <laughs> they, you know, adjusted. Adjusted, adjusted, yeah. For what? Insanity? Yes, Charlene. I just had one little thing. Like, what what gets me is, why did it take all this to get us to start thinking that way? Like during the Reagan administration, during you know Clinton was going to address the health care, but then they told Hillary, "Shut up and don't say it anymore, and just forget about the health care." Right. So yep. I don't know what happened that Obama comes in and does this, and now we got this asshole. That's going to like try to reverse it all. So now now this finally woke everyone up now that maybe this country is crazy because why does do so many other countries have such great health care? And in this country, we have shit. So what what you know, do you guys think that uh, eventually someday somehow, you know, something could change? Well, they're, they're, I mean, let's put it this way. A lot of other countries find it almost unconscionable that we put a right. price on good health. How do oh, we yeah. live this way in this country, Absolutely. right? Yeah, but there shouldn't I mean, look, be a price on good Phil. health. Yeah, look at Phil's health care alone. His health problems alone are, are just just the actual antithesis of this whole thing. I mean, if, if he lived in another country, he would have already gotten his treatment. He would have probably been well on the way to recovery and being completely Oh, no, if we, had, if we had single-payer health care in this country... Phil would, Meyer wouldn't have to worry about finding a place to do this particular right. thing oh, and getting the I, right. Hold on a second, Phil, and, and get the, getting the right insurance and all of that. He'd just go do it. Yep. I yes, think, Rob. Think, Phil, you're, Rob's you're got his hand up. What would you do if you didn't have the – I would. I hate to use the word luxury because cancer is a horrible thing, but you happen to have this particular cancer that is so slow growing. What would happen if you had – a real serious cancer, and you went to your, like you said last night, they they want to fix it with a hammer. What would you do? You would be able to wait. What would I you do? Would be, I'd be uh, uh, like, hoping that they had a nice hammer. Like if it was in you know, the you, you'd, you'd, you'd basically right. be screwed. But, that it doesn't, basically it, be screwed. Phil, when, he does, if, Phil, if, when if, you I don't have an answer, when you don't have an answer to a question, you yeah. answer it with a, what you think is a joke. Stupid well, joke. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would uh, if I had a more aggressive cancer, uh, it, it going through uh, proton therapy wouldn't help. I would no, have no, to no, do no, no. We're not, we're not talking about you being a doctor here. What they were saying to you is if you had a more aggressive anything, your yeah. options would not be as good now as they would be under single payer because you would be able to immediately say, I don't care where I go and I can go anywhere to do it. And I can go to that place. that has got this program or that program to save my life. Uh, and, and it doesn't matter because I'm covered no matter where I go. Yeah, well, and, and, that, would be, that would be a nice thing. I just need to pay for it. No. Why oh, do you need to pay for it, Phil? You're paying, you're paying taxes already. I'm, so I'm not paying as much tax as somebody that lives in Sweden. They're paying 90% tax. Hey, See, I would, this is why I, we'll never I, have, wait a Sweden, we'll never 90%. have single payer because we have people in this country that are like Phil, and they yeah. want to pay for everything like this. Why? Why shouldn't it be covered, Phil? Why do you want to pay? Because it, it, <laughs> it, it, it causes people to be dependent rather than producers. Okay. All right. Well, if that's everybody it, has it, Phil... If everybody has it, that goes away. Wait, wait a minute. Let me let me correct and something. Phil next? Meyer just it's said that in Sweden, it's, it's, no, it's in Sweden. Not. Wait a minute. He just said in Sweden they pay ninety percent personal they income pay tax. Only like 65. They pay fifty-seven point ten percent. And there's a, and then there's VAT tax. No, 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 no. We it's, pay VAT. That's the VAT tax you pay, Phil. Can I say something? It's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. Get Tony. him, Tony. Yeah, I'm going to say this to Phil when he said he wants people to be not dependent. When a guy comes into your store for rugs, you should ask him, do you have Obamacare? Yes, I do. Well, then I can't sell you because you're dependent. You take his money. Hey, if he's coming into my store to buy, he makes too much money to use Obamacare. No, 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 no. no. You should ask him what health care he's got. Phil, I got to tell you, I got to tell you that most, uh, most Americans would be very happy no matter how much money they make if they knew uh -huh. they had... Uh, single-payer health care, and if they wanted the luxury 
health care yeah. or to be able to go luxuriously with it, then they pay extra. That's what happens in England. You can you can go to a private well, hospital, hospital if you again. want to. You got to pay for it. But you got to pay for it. You know. If you want better, right. If you, yeah. want better. you want the best, you can pay out of your pocket. I haven't right. seen one program, and you guys seem to love Medicare, but oh, I haven't seen no. one program that the government has put forward that hasn't been a boondoggle. Uh, and oh, Medicare, yeah, Medicare, yeah, Medicare is a fraud on state you level. You give it? Are you going to take, take Medicare? Yeah. Phil? Good question, oh, yeah. Phil. I'm paying for it every time. Are you going to take it when you get it? You're going to take it. Right. Is he going to take it when he gets it? You're going to take it, and begrudgingly, you're going to love it. Yeah. By the way, Alex, you're here. I worked at Social Security for 37 years. I understand my videos. I've been in office for 20. The Social Security Trust Fund has been in the black for almost a hundred years and then it may dip and not and be in the red that's been the, that's probably the most successful successful social program in the history of the universe yeah. what yeah, social security it, the ponzi we, we, yeah we operate at one percent administrative cost it's a ponzi we've been, we've never what, what's a, pon what's a pon oh, wait, God. wait what's a ponzi scheme Phil? Oh, really? so 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 hold on a second hold on a second, hold on a second. Every, everybody right. hold it uh, look uh, look, uh, look I, I i'm working at a disadvantage here because I, I i suddenly noticed they're my camera all insurance social security's an insurance wait a minute hold it's on hold on a sec will you hold on tim please yeah i shut up yeah because nobody can see me because somehow my camera is not is ghosted out now but it doesn't matter you can hear my the voice of god anyway we have 10 one two no yeah. no we we it, somehow it cut me off anyway it doesn't matter uh the fact of the matter is that uh now i forgot what i was gonna say oh that's a, it's a ponzi scheme. oh yeah yeah phil phil how is it a ponzi scheme and would you please describe your version of a ponzi scheme <laughs> I'll, I'll i'll describe it in terms of social security yeah go ahead when we first had social security there were 16 workers for every person drawing on social security now there are four pretty we're, soon we're not talking about social security we're talking about medicare well, that's what we were talking about. No. And when you when you and you have Social Security, you pay for Medicare. So those workers, those four no, workers, you pay that are you pay for Medicare. I believe separately from Social Security tax. It's all part of the same thing. No, it's not all part of the same thing. It is. Hey, a when I sit down and do payroll, I am telling I you now. I am telling you now that it, it's 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 part. Am I right? Am I wrong about this, folks? It, but it, we, it shows up separately on your W two. Yeah, it may show up tax. separately, but it's still coming out of you know. It's still an employment. But tax. it goes it goes and to a separate trust. How fund, is it Phil? a Ponzi scheme, Phil? Yeah. Well, because. You started out with 16 people for every worker. Now you got four for every worker, and pretty soon you'll have none for every worker. And then you'll be sitting there wondering where the money is. Uh, well, so, well, and you you're going to pay 80 cents on the dollar. Is it, 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 it only be a couple minor adjustments, Phil, in the plan, and Social Security would last for another 50 years that's right. with no problems. Yes, and now, you know, it started out that it was on uh, the first X amount of thousands of dollars. Now, what is it, $108,000? Right, they, should, they should do away with that limit. Everybody that should, make, should pay a percentage into that. I agree That would that. actually solve the trust, trust fund problem. I agree well, with so you. Now, I... now you admit there's a trust fund problem. No, no. No, see, no there's the... always a problem when you, get, when you get to be 120 years old. Yeah, there's yeah, going to be a problem. Like that, the, yeah. the problem actually is, Phil, people is live longer. Is, tea, is tea partiers in this particular uh, case. We all want Wake up healthcare. and smell the coffee. Come we on. We are in charge right now don't want yeah, us to have health health care. They nah, frankly have uh, proven yeah, to yeah, us that they don't give a shit if we're alive or not. You blame the tea party. You you know, I don't know what you're smoking, but you wake up and smell the coffee. It, it, there's only so much money to go around. And if you got less and less workers and people who live in longer, you, you're going to end up with a bankrupt system. It's just a matter of time. That doesn't make it a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. It's a Ponzi scheme when you have uh, several I'll tell you when it's a Ponzi scheme is when whoever's running this so-called Ponzi scheme is skimming money off of it to buy, uh, to pay for wars because they weren't supposed to go into the Social Security system to get money. If they didn't, uh, the statistics alone show that we would never see a Social Security system going broke. Yeah. Well, Hey, and that was courtesy of George Bush that, and Dick Cheney. It doesn't Cheney. matter if it was George Washington. That is what your government does to you. And I'm not going All right, to put but, but you're standing up. You're standing up for a fucking— if, for the, for, But you're standing up for the fucking government, Phil. You're a oh. hypocrite. 
You seem to I love you love Trump and you love the what they're doing in the in Congress I, right now. Right. Yeah. So you, apparently, Trump. apparently, you're speaking out of both sides of your mouth. I hate the government, but God bless the government. No, I am happy if he cleans the swamp. And to tell you the truth, he's I, part so, of the swamp, Phil. Well, you know, uh, I don't think so because even Tillerson doesn't have that much staff. They're doing it with less staff. Oh, good. They're They're saying that less efficiency. Staff. Less efficiency. No. That's great. Yeah. But hey, he's Alex, getting, he's hey, getting hey, Alex and Phil, did you hear what else ways. Tillerson said yesterday? What? He said, well, if we're going to make be able to deal with other countries, sometimes we have to lower our values. No. We have what to forget said, our values what that's in order to make said, deals then. with other countries. No, what then, he said. So he won't need as much staff. No, he so, said it's not our place to tell other countries how to how to live their lives, or uh, that's basically. No, but what it's it, our place not not to make business deals with with crooks or people that are run by no, the mafia, no. like in Russia. No, we don't need to be making other people live to our values, is what he no, said. No, but we also don't want to make a deal with murderers. So well, you don't want to make a deal with them. I, I, you know, these people are going to live the way they want to live. Egypt, I don't want to live Egypt, in, in the Philippines. War. We're not going to make deal. You shouldn't be dealing with people that are murderers. Well, uh, I guess you, including number one, Putin. Yeah, well, so. I guess uh, you know you're uh, you're uh, holier than thou. You know, and uh, you don't want to deal no, with that. No, I'm just saying you're, you do what's right and you stay with the truck. Okay, well, we're gonna, again, we're the dog yeah, chasing, with, again, the dog chasing his tail. Uh, by the way, we lost Scott, and I was uh, hoping we would see Scott towards the no, end of the... No, I see his, I see his, uh, his picture. Yeah, but uh, he's not there. He, he <laughs> went, went off the grid here. Uh -huh. uh, but, I, I mean, I would love him to call back because what I want to see, and my picture's back. But yeah. what I want to see is uh, how that jigsaw puzzle is turning out. You know? We should send him a puzzle. I got so many. Yeah, oh, but, can I ask a question well, wait, about uh, CPAP to uh, uh, Charlene? Have, has that made a difference in your life? Uh, you're muted. What the fuck? You're still you're muted. muted. You're still muted. You're muted again. All what? right, you're All right. muted. We I can't wanted to ask it. Scott and Charlene, two other. Wait, 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 wait! I think she's got her mic back. Are you there, Charlene? No, no, no. no. Now, somehow, when you fiddled with it, it seemed to work better. But is better? there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right there. there you go. Well, they came and took the CPAP away. Why? Why? Because. Yeah, well, because they gave me this amazing thing that they could see my usage and all that, and they said it was for titration. It was for billing purposes. Like you know, I. Well, you, no, you, well there's something wrong with your again. with your. Okay, can you hear me? My yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Gone uh, Well, <laughs> th th that's getting to be too much. No, forget it, Charlene. Yeah, now. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen. Let me just uh, let me just finish up the show with a couple of items here, and you might want to throw them in. Um, first of all, uh, and I don't know why I some somebody's got some on that's. Uh, Okay, there I am. Okay, now I don't feel f the slap back. Um, it, it, the question is, is, someone's counting the number of jokes each late night host has made about Trump. Oh, God. Now, oh, you the FCC's coming down on Stephen Colbert? No, uh, you, no, no, no. They're not. They want your assholes want something to come down on Stephen oh, Colbert. The FCC, they uh, think he's Bill O'Reilly. They want him off the air. Well, no, For they, what he uh, said. they said uh, that he, uh, I, I, he's a I, cock holster. That's what he said. A, yeah, he's a cock yeah, holster. Yeah, he said that. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I started yeah. watching Colbert. Oh, so you, now, now, you, now you're for funny. being politically correct, huh? Yeah, he said he was. Phil, he's... you're for being politically correct now? No, I just true. said that they're coming down on him. Why are they coming right? down on him? I didn't, in all the stuff I read, and I read a lot of the showbiz stuff, there's nothing about the FCC going after Stephen Colbert. Oh, yeah, Colbert. yeah, there is. Uh, it, it, it's it's not not well, find FCC. it for me. What? What, Renee? It's not about the FCC coming down on them. They don't care. Who's coming down on them are your Tea Party people thinking that it, what they didn't like what he said. And they didn't like so what he FCC said because it was not politically in their wheelhouse. But let me yeah. first, let me say... Guess who leads the pack in the number of uh, jokes about Trump? Uh, uh, Trevor Noah. No. You would think uh, so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Colbert? I was going to say yeah. Colbert. It's, it's, Colbert. it's Colbert. 
Yeah. It's called Very Good. I started watching him when I heard that. When it I comes to late today, night hosts, he's he, hysterically funny. He is he is targeting Trump the most. Yes, and, he is. Uh, and it's funny. The AP cites a study by the Center for Media and Public Affairs at George Mason University that determined Trump is on pace to become the most joked about president in late night TV in at least 25 years. Trump has been the target of some 1,060 late night jokes since taking office. The study said that puts him on a pace to beat President Clinton's record of 1,717 uh, jokes in 1998. And the year hasn't isn't even halfway finished yet. Right. No, the, year, uh, the year of his affair with Monica Lewinsky. Uh, Colbert reportedly fired off 3.37 Trump jokes a day during Trump's first 100 days in office. Colbert is credited with 337 Trump jokes since the Trump inauguration, followed by Trevor Noah of Comedy Central's The Daily Show with 315 Trump jokes during the same sketch. Then Jimmy Fallon with 231. And by the way, his ratings are going down now as a result of this. Uh, and Jimmy Kimmel at 177. Uh, who, who did the statement about so, his son? Uh, the, uh, the, Trump, wait a minute, the Trump battering is paid off handsomely for Colbert and CBS. Citing Nielsen data for total viewers, the late show eclipsed Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show in the ratings shortly after Trump's inauguration. Stephen and Colbert has come under fire and backlash on his Monday night. Uh, Monday yeah, yeah, that, you're two days, you're two days late with this. You're two days late with this. Made homophobic. Yes. yes no, they're, yes. Not making, they're not mad gay people. They are not mad. They think it's funny. No, no, they, they, he made homophobic, homophobic slurs. Yes. And do, so you, do you know what the homophobic FCC, slur? Wait a minute. The, but you're reading FCC this. Chairman, you don't know the story. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. The FCC yeah, you're chairman looking at it. pays. If, if, if I want somebody to read me the news, I'd watch, I'd watch uh, 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 Holt, Lester Holt, you know. Uh, uh, well, I guess it was a oral so sex so joke uh, <laughs> in, in response to John Dickerson's Face the Nation interview. Uh, uh, with Trump. So, uh, Trump, so the FCC chairman is actually uh, looking into well, this. Well, I think uh, he's wasting the taxpayers' uh, money yes, by doing is, it, right. because it all comes under freedom of speech. And if it was homophobic, then so be it. He's going to make a lot of gay people mad at him. Well, they aren't mad. They think but it's he's fun not. Trip. He's he's not on cable, Alex. He's on. Also, we might we might we might know we might know we might know that we might know that. Well, hold on a second. We might note that the group that has not uh, 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 complained about Colbert or made a statement about it is glad they haven't right. said word not one mad. about right. it. That's so, because what you know, he this said is like this is this, right. this is like the time the times that white people always say, "Hey, that's offensive to black people." We let black people decide what's offensive to them, it, and we it, let it, gay people decide what's offensive to them. <laughs> Brian, you're gay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No secret. Uh, how do you feel about the statement that Colbert made on the air, referring to uh, 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 Trump as a cock holster for Putin? I call yeah. him a cocksucker, so what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are you upset by it? Does that... Uh, it, it, I have it, more it, important things to be angry about. Yeah. Like exactly. Like healthcare. Yeah, you're exactly. Right. Listen, Colbert has taken over for David Letterman, right? He's in the uh, Ed yeah, Sullivan Theater yeah, yeah. and everything. I started watching it. I never saw him in this new show. Mm -hmm. I watched some of it today. I got to rewatch it and pay more. He's hysterical. I, I've kind of I, I still it. find him unwatchable. I don't know. I, no, I, I like I, I've never been crazy he, about him. He doesn't stop the whole show. For, for he just keeps. Yeah, going but he on doesn't stop. He doesn't help. stop because he knows that's what's getting an audience. Yeah. I mean, the reason. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's a little disingenuous. Yeah. He's found a formula and he's sticking to it. Yeah, and and oh. and Fal I I don't like Fallon at all. Uh, he, he's and, like a child on TV. I mean, and mm -hmm. and, and you know, uh, people in the day years in the land of Trump really would rather. Here's some good political humor. And I think that's why he's doing it. And Colbert is milking it for everything he can well, because the numbers he, are going right. he's, he's, now, he's, now, he's now number one. He's going to use uh, obscenity law uh, if, if he can but against they, Colbert. No, no, they can't because the they word cock him. was bleeped out. It was well, bleeped. It says here FCC chair on Colbert's Trump bash will apply obscenity well, law. Well, he can't he, because it was bleeped. It never went out on the air. It was bleeped. Yeah. He looks confused, though. It was bleeped. Yeah. How do people know that? Uh, because, because, it, because we're not stupid. Everybody <laughs> assumed. Everybody assumed that the word was cock. Okay, we but it was bleeped. What is slips? Yeah. Um, 
get it. We're yeah. all educated adults. We get it. No, we're it not. Was, we're Joe. We're and not. it wasn't. And I don't know how that's homophobic in his statement, but well, I'm not gay. Look, so I can't. You know, I read to the office. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, that's about it. Uh, boy, we have a big finish, huh, Jeff? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Renee Collins in Hawaii, so much thanks for joining us tonight. Charlene, you as well. A nice uh, couple of women on the panel tonight, which is really great. Brian Ludwig, always a pleasure. Rob, you know we think the world of you. Phil, thank you for joining us as always. Anthony Magno, thank you as well. Tim, thank you. And also to Scott Boddicker, who is somewhere out there in Texas right now in Plano trying to finish up a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, I'm trying to solve the puzzle of why we're in this mess we're in to begin with. Anyway, thank you all for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Wave bye-bye, all of you. Okay, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Okay. Uh, who's, oh, there goes my phone. Somebody's calling me. <laughs> Who the hell is calling me? Wait a minute. This is this is hilarious. And the watch is going off. And I don't know who's calling me. Herb Jackson is calling me. Wait a minute. Well, listen, I'm going to take us off the air. There may be no Herb Jackson, or rather uh, Jack next. Uh, wait a minute. Should I call him back? while I'm here. Nah, I'll sign this whole thing off and then we'll uh, we'll <laughs> we'll figure out what the problem is. Don't call me while I'm doing a show. I can't do anything about it. Anyway, oh wait a minute. I got to I got to put me on, see? I, I, because those all went off. I didn't have me and whatever. I don't know if there's going to be a show right after us, but let's uh, let's uh, listen and see if it uh, if we do. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett, you know, and we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Okay.